How's it going? Bit of a smash cut to start the uh, start the stream tonight. I don't know if anybody's out there yet, but I'll explain once we get uh, once we get more folks in here. But yeah, uh, hope you're all doing well. I'll give you that little greeting up front uh, as people filter in. But yeah. <laughs> I was caught a little off guard with this first one. Uh, it uh, it's one of those games that launches directly into the action, so I can't really. There's there's nowhere to just kind of rest it on an intro screen, unfortunately. So awkward. <laughs> I hope everyone's having a good day. Um, I had a pretty I had a pretty good day compared to yesterday, at least. Um, I, cause yesterday I was, I wasn't feeling particularly well. I had a, I had a vertigo attack, uh, but today was fine. And I was just kind of finishing up some stuff, uh, for work and be starting on some new stuff. What's up, Satellite Sun? How's it going? Just rambling about my day a bit. Uh, normally, you know, normally I, I start these things. I have them left on like the splash screen or the main menu for something, but off, off peak city doesn't do that. So, and it feels like something we should probably get into together from what I saw from the opening. So, hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good day. I'm, uh, I'm just kind of repeating the same things over and over and over again until folks get in here. So, what's up, Dominic? How's it going? Um, yeah. Happy Friday. Hope your week went well. Hope you got through everything. What are your thoughts regarding something awful? That certainly lived up to its name, didn't it? Um, it's, it's a shame. It actually, it affected me more than I thought it would. Because I haven't really been a regular reader of Something Awful. <laughs> Damn straight, high thumb. Um, I haven't been a, a regular reader of Something Awful, actually since the quarantine started. Something Awful since college. I think my reg date was something like 2003. Something Awful was like the internet for me. I didn't go to other sites. I didn't, for the longest time, I didn't even go to sites like YouTube or, or Twitch. Uh, I would go to Something Awful, and I would get all my gaming news there. I would read about comic books. I would read about movies. I would read about politics. I would check up on hot memes. Like, that was, that was the center of my internet universe, you know? And that certainly... It... it be, like I started to branch out a bit more on my own. Yeah, that's right, Manic. Hot, hot memes. Keep playing the Mr. Driller demos. Do, does not bode well for your attempts to not buy it. It's sale season. Just, just give in. Just let it happen. You'll be, you'll be happy. I'm sure you will be if you've been playing the demo that much. Um, but I, I, you know, before I even started to review or stream, I'd already started to, like... I had found YouTube personalities that I liked watching Let's Plays of and other news sites and stuff. Um, but I, I kept going to something awful. Like, it was still where I got, like, my up-to-date information until the quarantine started, strangely enough. Um, and then when that happened, I think it was, I think what happened was I lost my, my real-world social net, which was basically my coworkers. I lost... Like, I lost that, that social comfort zone of just hanging out and chatting with my coworkers. And I think it made me much, much, much more attached to y'all, actually, to the community that we've built here. Um, and so I started spending a lot more time focusing on this stuff, focusing on streams and focusing on writing and focusing on Discord. And something awful just didn't feel... I'm, I, it's going to sound strange. I'm not like a super social person to begin with. I'm, I'm much more of an introvert, traditionally. Um, and I think once, once I realized how much this community, how much it meant to me, how important it was to me, I think something awful became like much more secondary. Uh, so I didn't go there all that much. What's up, Toast? How, how's it going? I'm just rambling about feels at the moment and something awful. Um, nevertheless... Finding out that Something Awful was essentially founded and run, or at least owned in the background, by just an abjectly terrible human fucking being. 
uh, and that it might be at risk of being dissolved uh, it hit pretty hard, honestly, because I'd spent so much, I've spent so much of my online life there, even though I don't really spend so much time there anymore. Um, it's still like, I, I felt pretty crappy yesterday, like for a number of reasons, not just because I was physically ill, but that, that was kind of, that was kind of weighing on my soul as well. Oh, thank you, man. I can appreciate that. It's like finding out something bad happened to an ex. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had spent too much time on something awful to really just brush it off like that. So I'm glad, I, I'm, I'm glad it's not going to just disintegrate. Um, it's obviously been dealt a very serious blow. It's obviously not going to be the same community that it was before. <laughs> Regretting that question now, are we, Cracker? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I, I, think, I think it's... It's better now, at least, uh, that, it's, that it's getting out from under low tax. And I don't know that the new management is much of an improvement, but it's, I mean, anything's better than him, so. Fair enough, fair enough. Ed Cragger, if you ever want to vent, if you ever want to share, there's always, there's always channels in Discord where you are, you are welcome to do that. But as you all are well aware, tonight is Indie Variety Night. We haven't done a really serious full-on indie indie variety night lately we've been doing stuff like uh the command and conquer remaster um big indie releases like beyond blue but tonight oh lord oh friends oh oh we go in indie um we're gonna start with the winner of the june reader's choice uh vote which is tales from off peak city volume one um i'm hoping to kind of shotgun this game this weekend and get a review out for it next week, just to pretend that I'm actually a grown-ass human being that can adhere to schedules. Uh, but we're going to spend maybe may, upwards of an hour on this tonight, seeing what it's all about. Once we get through that, it's at last time to check out the Itch Bundle. Uh, we are going to dive headlong into that. I've downloaded all the games y'all requested from the Itch Bundle that had more than one nomination, which is something like nine or ten games. So we have more than enough for tonight to go through, even if we only spend a couple minutes on each, uh, which I don't think will be the case. I think I imagine we'll get stuck on a couple of them. And this is how Fridays are going to be for the foreseeable future. I'll pick one game that I've been meaning to take a look at. We'll spend the first hour on that. Uh, and then after that, we'll, we'll just be working on, through that huge-ass itch list. You guys gave me a list of 73 games you wanted me to look at. So we're going to be on that for a while. So. So you plan to do a night like this earlier, but you're indecisive. Man, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> just, just why you gotta be like that? <laughs> Cragger's worried about bringing down the mood. I'm worried about getting punned to death. It's a lot of ish. It definitely is. So I had to adjust the volume in this. Um, it was extremely loud the first time I booted up. Thank you, Vesti. It's nice to see you too. Purposely avoiding uh, nominating anything that already had one. That's okay. We're gonna get to it all eventually. I see. I see no reason not to. <laughs> Vesti. Vesti having a normal one over here. Well, you woke up just in time. Uh, click to advance text spoken at you. But before we go any further, I need to know one thing. Look at this suave motherfucker here with the glow stick. What's your name, anyway? I'm Oddish. Odd, Oddish. Not Oddfishish. <laughs> uh, chat in general having a normal one tonight. Awesome. You won't find this place on any maps, Oddish. But in time, you'll come to know the corner of July Avenue and Yam Street, like few others do. Look around the map. The sky is nice. We did gang, we survived another week in this alternate reality. I'm truly happy to be here. I, likewise, Cragger, very much. Cheers to all of you. Congratulations on surviving another week. Hopefully it wasn't too hellish for you. My god, this world. 
this world that we are stuck in. Are we canceling Oddish for not being entertaining? <laughs> uh, many assignments for you, Oddish. And for this first one, I re require you to steal a valuable musical instrument. This is an old saxophone, the prized possession of Caetano Grosso, former musician and current owner of the pizza restaurant in the corner up ahead. Volume 1, Caetano's Slice. Caetano needs an assistant, so I thought, hey, here's the perfect opportunity to prove your worth to us, Oddish. I'm pretty sure that suave motherfucker's neck is not actually attached to his soldiers, but just goes down his pelvis and can rattle around like a pen in a cup. Hmm. Would that I was so lucky. That their letter of recommendation will make Caetano think you're overqualified to work at his restaurant. Certain items can be picked up. We got a letter of recommendation. Caetano was an incredible sax player in his day. World class. He even played with the great Peter Norwood for a while. Nowadays, Caetano just holds up in his pizza shop making his pies all day. I mean, that's, that's a pretty worthy pursuit as well. As long as the pies don't suck. There are rumors, Oddish. Something's not right about Caetano. Something's not right about him. You say something, Pops? Anyway, here's a picture of the sax. For reference, do whatever it takes to get it. At the very least, working for Caetano will give you an inside angle on his operation. Once you retrieve the sax, we'll find you. We need the money, and that sax is worth a small fortune in this market. Besides, Pops' medical bills aren't going to pay themselves, huh? I got $70. Holy shit. Here's some cash. I probably want to buy a few things while you're here. And one last thing. Right. Good luck. We believe in you. We believe in you. All right, so this is a first... Per What's up, Bacon Copter? How's it going? This is a first-person adventure game. In a very, very, very strange world. There is a dog on the monies. I will take your two giant novelty dollars. You can eavesdrop on conversations or interrupt them. So, Big Mo, should I call the tone service? Yes, yeah, car's been here for years. No one will miss it. And the owner? Wheeled off last week. It's the third extraction this month, Big Mo. Neighborhood's really, uh, something. But I'd like to hear. What about Building 9? Aren't they over capacity over there? Building 9's problems are not mine, mercifully. So the guy knows he tends the boss breathing down my neck. Well, whatever you need, we are here to serve, Big Mo. Here to serve, here to serve, fellas. So it looks like I can get them to repeat their lines. Do I know you? Who's this? A new face. These guys look extremely friendly. Did I give this stranger here a proper newcomer's welcome? What are you reading? Brain Sonata, Sonatas. E. Norwood and C. Grosso. Interesting. There's no wrong interpretations. Easy for you to say. Perhaps a trip to the factory for a little meet and greet? Save it. We got other priorities to deal with at the moment. Ooh, blanket party. Oh. Ozzy. I know where you're here. I saw the help wanted sign in Keitano's window. But even if Keitano does take you on, that don't mean you get to stick your face in places that don't belong. Come on, let me welcome the stranger, Big Mo. Yeah, let's do this the easy way. Not so fast, boys. I work hard to keep this neighborhood under, under the radar. My cause of stern will get along just fine. Big Mo's watching. Better listen to Big Mo. You're in my part of town now. It's like some kind of f fucked up zombie Rudy Giuliani. Which I know doesn't differentiate much from the genuine article, but I'm just saying. This is intensely art game, yes. Yes, this is turbo art game. Yeah, possibly less evil. Like, as far as I know, he didn't lie directly to my face. Is that a turtle? Were they roasting a turtle? I don't know. Anyway. Um, there's a face. Stoop sail! Stoop sale! It's true, I got a little sale going on here. All this stuff. I just don't need any more. And the camera over there is on sale. You can buy anything here if you have the cash. Got the cash! Oh, don't you mind building 33. He always gets excited when visitors come around. Visitors pizza! 
long as we don't get as many visitors since the flooding. But Caetano's a local celebrity. Caetano Pizza Saxophone? He's right, 35. You and I have both been here long enough to remember Caetano before he made pizza. Before Norwood discovered him, even. Norwood Noisy. We say Caetano down at Zucchini's Bar every Thursday. Where is the sauce? Place to pack, dancing the aisles. No wonder who's Norwood's favorite. Supreme Sounds. These days I hear something else coming from Norwood's apartment above the pizzeria. What do you hear? I can't mind to put my finger on it, 35. Always late, late at night. Real ruckus. I asked Kitano about it not long ago. Just the mild concerns of a neighbor, that's all. What did he say? And I stared into the distance and told me. Learning is a spiral staircase. The higher you go, the more you come around to the same problems. But you're at a higher level with them. I'd asked him if he was referring to his music, his pizza making, or something else. It's evening. Good evening, Snow Crash. Good to see you. We're t playing Tales from Off Peak City. He just smiled and told me to get some earplugs when things got loud. Just like old days, he said. Like the old days? Bone xylophone. Yeah, I know, dude. Uh, I can have an old camera. Cannot have the eyeball of the space lion, but I'll take the camera. Uh, that was, like, good choice there, that old camera. It even comes with custom film. Press tab to open your inventory and select camera. Um, this camera calls your name. Terrence Stoyer old folders. Uh, recommendation letter for audit. Great handshake, easy di disposition, punctual, no known vices. Debatable. Curious team player, even handed, open minded, baseline cooking ability. Accurate. Yes, this is. This is definitely uh, by the dev of the Norwood Suite, and uh, apparently takes place in the same universe as it. Which you probably could have sussed out from them mentioning Norwood by name. Uh, and this is the saxophone we have to rip off. I don't know why there are octagons on everything. Anyway, I have camera. Whoa, we're doing what now? Oh my god, you can actually... Whoa, you can adjust the focus range. You can adjust the focus range, the shutter speed. Holy shit, that's kind of crazy. You can't see it because of my dumb head, but there's a shutter speed control behind here. Um, you can zoom. All right, let's, let's rule of thirds this guy. Did you say something, Gigantor? How do you rule of thirds a big ass building like this? I, I guess you can do this. I guess that, that'll work. There we go. Cool. Uh, that's neat. I like I like photo simulators. There's a there's a game. When when we're done with this one, remind me to to mention the like the photography simulator. I have a game on my wish list that's another like super artsy. Uh, like adventure that that's built around um, being a photographer that I'm really interested in. I will I will say I really like the look of this game. I like photo simulators, play to indie games are recommended. <laughs> Y'all might not have noticed I bought some games today. Um, I went ahead and picked up some of the. Uh, Friday requests. I grabbed, um... There's no way I'm gonna remember the names of these. I'll tell you later. <laughs> Guitar lessons with Remy. You know I'm ready. I watched you for years. Ain't gonna happen, Maxine. You know it. Maybe I didn't get a master builder to make my oven. I was beside the point, Maxine. Your father, he tells me you're difficult at home. Dad doesn't know a thing about me. I know you're not gonna be difficult behind the counter. Finally bought bad rats, exactly. 
I actually have Bad Rats. Uh, I was going to review it a million years ago. Uh, and it was too repugnant. I couldn't deal with it. I, I, I couldn't. Alright, um... 16-inch pizza made to order is $40. Lumus energy drink is $5. Today ingre today's ingredients, pepperoni, mushroom, basil, sliced, sliced mozzarella. Caetano slice, order online. $40 for 16-inch pizza. Umarangi generation, that's it. Thank you, our Dominic. Thank you so much. What's up, Donna Roblox? We are just getting started tonight. This is Tales from Off Peak City, Volume 1. We're starting with this. So you are just in time, my friendo. Uh, we're debating the value of a pizza parlor that sells $40 16-inch pizzas uh, with a selection of only four toppings. I had uh, I had mushroom and chicken tonight. I, chat, I'm... Sorry, this might be a little early in the evening for this, but I just want to make sure we're all on the same page that uh, chicken is the best pizza topping. I mean, we, we can definitely agree on that, right? What's up, Hobsel? How's it going? I actually don't care for mushrooms. Banana, banana peppers. Fresh, to, fresh tomatoes? What the hell? Not even sun-dried? Like anchovies. What the hell is this chat? <laughs> Well, I got a subscription out of it, so I guess hot takes like this are what we're all looking for. <laughs> thanks, thanks for subbing Twitch Prime, uh, not a rogue like for 21 months. Jesus Christ! Chicken and onion, yes, smoky, smoky. I'm not used to having a sort of kinship with you, but right now, right now, you and me, buddy. Is that Billy Corgan? <laughs> Kate Bush gamer, yes, yes. He's he goes by Kaitano now, and we're gonna steal his saxophone. So. All thematically consistent here. I'm gonna choose not a meat because there are people that cannot eat the meats. I mean, something can still be the best even if not everybody can can appreciate it for whatever reason. Just saying. Chicken is fine for such centrist opinion. What the hell are you talking about? Who doesn't like chicken on a pizza? I mean, the set, if you're gonna be a filthy centrist about this, it's gotta be like, what, pepperoni, sausage, or I would think maybe onions? are going to be your garbage centrist, centrist opinions. Salami. I've never had salami pizza. I had a watermelon pizza in Hawaii once. It was amazing. I might have to try that. I do love pineapple on pizza. I'm one of those people. I mean, yeah, she's the least flavorful meat. Okay, you don't... You just... You're not getting it, man. All right? Look, the, the beauty, the magic of chicken is that it's a flavor enhancer. It's like tofu. It isn't about the chicken itself. Like you could eat, eat good chicken, bad chicken, white meat, dark meat, doesn't matter. The point is chicken enhances the flavor of whatever you put it to, whatever you pair it with. And with a pizza, that just makes a flavor explosion in your mouth. Yeah. Fuck, you ruined a goddamn pineapple, goddamn pineapple man. <laughs> I knew it couldn't last, Smokey. I knew it couldn't last. <laughs> One of the best pieces you ever had was sardine and pineapple. I cannot imagine how those two flavors would go together. The fuck kind of chicken are you getting? Because that's like the antithesis of what chicken is. Roast chicken! Roasting a chicken brings out all of its natural flavors and enhances the flavors of, of, of what it is ensconced in. What it is set upon. Pineapple on pizza is a sin. What the fuck ever. Twist is that Oz literally just puts Chicken McNuggets in his pizza. <laughs> oh, that'd be the ultimate. That'd be the ultimate indignity. <laughs> can we play the game? Fine. Well, well, who is this? As you can see, we serve a variety of slices for all appetites and tastes. See? See? These people are accepting of all appetites and tastes, chat. I don't understand why you must be so closed-minded about these issues. That's a sin's what I'll happily go to hell for. Can you imagine we're all at a restaurant right now trying to decide what pizza we're going to share? That's why we're never going to do any kind of, like, GPG meetup. I think we'd all just be at each other's throats within, like, five minutes. Um, press tab, uh, or open your inventory, select the appropriate item. Uh, we? I'd like to think we've, I've earned the right to say we, given how much I come around here. 
Down the street, there's a place that does Hawaiian pizza with almonds and cinnamon. That does sound good. Fat chance, kid. There's no we at this place. I get bonus points towards pizza choosing because I don't want to die. <laughs> I serve a variety of slices, but it's a morning and I'm just getting started. And you don't want any of Dale's slices. So it's probably still make money, Maxine. As a mod, I choose who lives in his dots. Not everything has to be all fresh all the time. Just get time in a minute and it'll give you the gift of a fresh pie. Maxine, you build up a tolerance to affordable ingredients. Almonds and cinnamon. Okay, I, I also need to mention that I have lived in Japan. Land, land of the corn and mayo pizzas, and I survived. So it's, it's definitely given me a much, a much broader view on the whole pizza paradigm. My daughter, actually, we took my daughter to a place in Japan where you could learn to make your own stuff, and there's a pizza par parlor where you could make your own pizza, and she made her own damn pizza. And when it came time to put the ingredients on it, she put literally everything. And it was like, it was like corn and tuna, and sliced egg, and spinach, and olives, and onions, and green peppers, and stuff. And you know what? You know what? You know what? Right hand to God. This, this is my right hand. Right hand to God. It was amazing. It was really good. Now, I, I am not, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you I'm a fan of corn and mayo pizza, but whatever unholy concoction my daughter managed to manifest in front of us that day was actually really good. This girl. Father brought me here every day, Katana. I've learned a thing or two about making pizza. Father's probably keeping tabs on me. I wonder where he is now. Hey, how about uh, Francis's band last night? Weren't they good? Okay, these, these motherfuckers are just gonna keep talking until I get this out. Let me recommendation, let's see that. Do you have a concern? Blah, blah, consummate professional, easy disposition, strong and shake, willing to work late, whatever, whatever. Reads like any old bowler plate letter. Nice paper texture, though. <laughs> I baked, a, uh, baked French toast last weekend. It was amazing. I think I want to film it this weekend, put it up on your channel. It's so good. I would watch that. I would watch that. I, I have French toast very infrequently, but I love me a good French toast. Oddish, if that is your real name. <laughs> Another great pizza, hot dog and onions and cheddar cheese on a mustard oil base. I have a hard time imagining that. And I also have a hard time taking your word for it after the abomination against both God and man that was posted in, uh, in our food channel on Discord. Can't get the idea of tuna on pizza out of your head. It, honestly, Manic, it's better, it, it, it's better than you're thinking. It really is. It really, really is. I am not even a fan of seafood pizza. I've had many seafood pizzas I did not care for, but tuna? Tuna is legit good. Soft band, which means whatever egg on pizza gets mentioned, I automatically reply, la la la, I can't hear you. <laughs> okay, yeah, I did miss that. My, uh, my mistake. So you finally got hired me, Kitano? Otis, here's a big phony. Hey, who the fuck asked you? No, you ought to. You're perfect for everything. It's so crystal clear. To start, my supply of sauce needs to be refilled in this jar of the basement. If you need to bring up a jar of sauce from down there, that'll get us started. This could be me, Keitano, holding, holding sauce jars, chopping onions. For all we know, Oddish is up to something. And being assistant Maxine, Oddish needs any help, you'll provide it, right? But, fine. Oddish is a ridiculous name, isn't it? Helping me by helping Oddish Maxi. This work is better suited for someone with no personal ties to the neighborhood. You'll understand soon enough, Oddish. Give me a break. Patience, Maxine. Okay. Something is distinctly off about this, but we'll, uh, we'll check it out. Yeah, I'm working on it. While holding, pull down the handle with your mouse joystick. This technique works for all doors. Okay, so it's an actual, like, you can actually open things. Okay, that's locked. Play the Norwich Suite, talk at 70% of the game. Yeah, I imagine this is going to be in, in a very similar vein. She's wearing cheese pizza pants, man, all this time. I mean, I had pizza tonight. That's why I'm on, on about this. And our pizza came with a free cookie pie because my wife's birthday was last weekend. 
A jar of marinara sauce. Yes, I will take that. That's locked. Uh, the Norwood Etudes for solo piano. Uh, that was perhaps once a piano. So there it is, the sax. The sax that we need. Um, oh, that's fucking with my brain. All right, that, this is all kinds of locked, so. Oh, God. Ain't nothing like grandma's cold hot dog pie, that's for damn sure. No war crime quite like it. What the hell are you doing? Excellent work, Oddish. There's a lot of old memories for me down there. Go ahead and pour the sauce and pour the sauce into the sauce vat by the pizza making station to my right. People say canned sauce is a cop out, but really it's part of a broader pizza fundamental oddish. You see what I mean when you take the sauce out from that briefcase of yours and pour it in. So is this like off peak Billy Zane? Is that what we're uh, is that what we're doing with this? So let's see, what has he got? Actually, what has he got here? It looks like mozzarella. Oh, it's, it's the ingredients from there. Mozzarella, basil, pepperoni, and mushrooms. And it looks like he has cabbage, tomatoes, and is that the other part of the mozzarella? Yep, briefcase sauce. That's the secret. Very good, now your next step is to actually commit to making the pie itself. The order computer to my right will provide you with your first order. That's, that's, yeah, you're right, okay. Study the form, embrace the formation. Click on your for first order to make the dough appear on the board. Okay, click on the pizza area. Roll some dough. Pizza making art game. As near as I can tell, yes. Pizza school. None pizza left be tempting. Some, but that's okay. All right. I approve of this. Oh god. Oh god, my ingredients. This is the pizza boneless. It's physics. It's physics enabled. I wasn't expecting that. I remember those weird chips from back in the day called potato skins. I feel like I. Oh, pizza construction in progress. I feel like I do. I feel like I might have had those. It's a pizza. Oh, fuck. Bottom looks pretty good. Just look at that pizza go, Oddish. That impressive pie, I must say. You really went all in with the cheese. Good thing Luke is a cheese obsessive. Okay, so you practically... You poured practically the entire sauce vat on there, but Luke says he needs some more tomatoes in his diet. Anyway, about this automation system, I had, a, I had the great Conrad Bezelbub install it himself. Worth every penny. I got Luke Belmont's pizza. I believe it's time for your first delivery. 47 EM Street, top floor. Old Professor Lucas Belmont, a real steady. Prefers pizza for breakfast, and it looks like you made him a proper breakfast pie. Considering you put a lot of mushroom on there, he's sure to tip you real good. 
We aren't sure where you're delivering the pizza to. The pizza box itself will tell you. Just don't dawdle. Big day ahead. Oh, I'm trying to stay too long in the apartment. There are certain things Lucas probably doesn't want you to see. Good luck. You know what I had a weird obsession with uh, when I was... Okay. What I had a weird obsession with when I was younger was uh, munchos. Which seemed to be some kind of like... Puffed potato chip or something? They were insanely salty, but I really liked them. Aerated chips. There we go. Interesting. Because Belmont sounds like the kind of guy who appreciates some garlic. Why it all gotta be locked, though? Interesting art here. Before we try to find Lucas's secret, so naturally. Hello? Well, he is a big unicyclist, like literally big. I don't think this is the whip, whip kind of Belmont. Uh, shower struggles, animals in tandem, criminal tie-dye, the Ex Essex, Laos, symbolic links, clean on your bean, power grid poems. They will find a turkey in his wall, hey hoink. Ah, delivery. It's finally here, Barkley. Oddish, is it? Keitano said you'd be coming with a delivery. Usually sends that girl Maxine, her father and I. Anyway, I'll just go ahead and put that pizza down on the coffee table here. My students tell me eating pizza for breakfast is bad for me. But who really cares, Barkley? Like, they should talk. Gnarls Barkley Belmont. Pizza's pizza any time of the day, right, little guy? I think the university got me this place, but it's been so long. And I gotta say, this neighborhood has really been through the ringer. Dozens of shops come and gone, business owners' dreams dashed so many times over. And did you see what they built in front of the old church? Travesty! And yet, Caetano's Pizza remains the mainstay. Barkley, shut up in Belmont. <laughs> Did y'all notice the baby has one baby-sized hand and one human-sized hand? Talk Papa to me, thank you so much for the raid! How's it going? Oh, you've come on an auspicious night, my friends. We are playing Tales from Off-Peak City, Volume 1. What's up, the wort? It's not even great pizza by a wide mile. What's up, Lay Black Falcon? It is, isn't it? Yes, this is some kind of bizarre first-person uh, art adventure game. Thank you for the follow, by the way. What's up, Classic Sniper? Ruined! Canned ingredients, pasty, pasty sauce, and not even a gluten-free option. There's something about it. It's comfortable. And thank you for the follow as well, Black Falcon. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel a lot of things. Frankly, Oddish, I can't get enough of it. I was teaching at the university, music history. Since the train accident, I haven't been able to attend. Besides, class enrollment's down. The administration told me to go on a sabbatical. This game is distinct, metamorphic, audacious. Even garbage pizza is okay pizza. I have had, I have had some of those 99 cent frozen pizzas from from the grocery store, and it's the weirdest damn thing because when you're eating it, you regret every moment of it. You're like, what? What god-awful choices have I made in my life that led me to eating this gussied up round of cardboard? And then a week later, you're like, you know what? I could totally go for another one of those. An odd-looking baby, you say? A little, little on the curious side, perhaps. Um, really my main concern is the one adult-sized hand it has. 
First has lived in Brooklyn for 10 plus years. Dollar pizza has been your savior many a night. I mean, that's Brooklyn. That's cheating, though. Like, you can throw a rock and hit a decent slice of pizza there. Silver Mike, how judgmental of you. My god. Creeping. Store pizza is still pizza. When I have pizza, I don't complain. Completely agree. We were on we were on a um, Little Caesars kick for a long time, for months. Like, they're $5 pizzas. I mean, they get the job done. But even that, we got tired of eventually. So. <laughs> Silver Mike doubling down. Good timing, since young Barkley takes up so much of my time now. So much, Barkley. You require such constant devotion, my little man. I try to get everyone in my class to appreciate the music of Peter Norwood. You and I both know he's THE great composer of the last 50 years. But to my students, it's all just homework. Babies are ugly. Everyone pretends they're cute, but no, they're small, chubby, bald people. <laughs> Two hot rays on top of each other makes a decent sandwich. I never even thought about that. That's not a bad idea, actually. There is a space lion here, too, except it has an eyeball instead of a face. Uh, we can buy an eyeball like that down the street if we can uh, make ourselves a cash. Have a little Caesars like quarter mile, uh, quarter mile down the road. Our little Caesars is literally right across the street. I can I can walk there in like five minutes. So that was uh, that was a huge boon to us on on many a busy night. Tell them I live up the road from Caetano uh, Grosso, a living legend. You should have heard Caetano at his peak oddish, a real marvel on the sax. Our mission, by the way, is to steal Caetano's sax, so we're working uh, at his pizza parlor, which is how we end up in this uh, rather uncomfortable situation. Everyone knows Caetano's strongest playing when he was in Norwood's ensemble. And Norwood wrote his best music for Caetano. What a team they were. You'd think my students would care about any of this. But frankly, all they want to do is make beats. Will that be what you make, Barkley? Beats? Forgive me, Oddish. I'm like this with all my delivery people. I don't mind Little Caesars. I mean, it's not the best, but the main thing is um, most of the time it's fast. I don't have to sit there for 20 minutes. That is a big deal. That does make a big difference, so. I remember my family, when, when I was younger, we really liked uh, Pizza Hut when it was like the restaurant, and you get those like crispy deep dish pizzas, but my god, if you actually went there to eat, it would take you like an hour to get your food. It was ridiculous. Like, they had to have those cool old ass arcade games just so people can get pissed off and storm out of the restaurant. So we very rarely went. And now, I mean, they basically don't exist. Pizza Hut kind of reimagined itself as one of those, as like an ultra custom delivery place. Your Pizza Hut had Final Fight and UN Squadron? I'm old enough that um, the Pizza Hut I went to had Pac-Man and like the occasional NES game ported to arcade. It had the tables. You know, the, the arcade machines you would actually sit down at and like play like, look down at the, like, in the top. Pizza Hut had that meal limited salad bar. My mom really liked that. She didn't like their pizza very much, but she would, she would, uh, go for the salad bar. It was pretty decent. Moon Cresta, nice. You still got an Eden Pizza Hut near us? I didn't know any existed. That's amazing. Pizza Hut at a restaurant used to be a yearly thing? That's cute. Why did they have David Pac-Man? <laughs> What's up, Chico's? Girly Day briefly had one of those Pac-Man tables. Uh, one of the voiceover studios I work at, uh, they actually have, I think it's a reproduction because I think it's Pac-Man and like a bunch of other games from that period that you can toggle through. But still, it's cool just to sit down in one. Lived in Atlanta, your weed dealer managed a mellow mushroom. He'd occasionally throw me for a slice on top of a quarterback. Damn, Smokey, that is the hookup. The only guess I have anymore. Maybe I should order another pie for later tonight. We can continue this conversation. Barkley would certainly appreciate seeing you again. Isn't that right, Barkley? Barkley doesn't move or do anything. Anyway, have a pizza. At last, my morning meal. Let's see what's in this box, eh? Pizza for breakfast every day, Barkley. I made that pizza, by the way. It's every mellow mushroom experience. Town where your parents lived at combination Taco Bell KFC pizza. Oh my god! Hi, Vom! We had one of those in North Carolina. It was on the way... The, so, I lived in Hickory, and I went to college in Chapel Hill. And on, on I-40, like, maybe like 45 minutes to an hour outside of Chapel Hill going west, there was a Pizza Hut Taco Bell KFC, and it was... magical. 
combination Taco Bell Pizza Hut maybe 10 minutes away from you? Eating pizza backwards at Pizza Hut was so important to you in your, in your youth. I know, it brings back so many memories, doesn't it? Those specific, like, like food experiences. Consumerism is a curse. It really is obsolete. When consumerism is such a huge part of your upbringing, like, it, it can't help but become, like, a shared experience that you can bond over. You know? Like, it's... Yeah, it's, it's all it's all soulless corporations that have given us these experiences, but they're the things that form the building blocks of our youth, so. You performed at the college in chapel in 2018? That's awesome, dude. That's really cool. My college is very, very, very far behind me. I was there from 2001 to 2005, which is fucking another world at this point. You love the combination of Pizza Hut and Taco Bell? The Trinity. The, the merging of the three is the one that really blows my mind. Because sometimes they also have, like, crossover, um, crossover combos. Like, you can get, like, a personal pan pizza and, like, a wing and a thigh and a biscuit. Or, like, a personal pizza and, like, two tacos and some nachos or something. That's when it's really magical. That's when it's really crazy, so. We're scratching the itch tonight, boys. What's up, Spice? You know what I remember? And I'm, I'm really curious how many of y'all shared this experience. How many of you had McDonald's pizza? How many of y'all remember that? No, that's the Neon Genesis Evangelion of pizzas right there. Once, I had it. I had it. You, you, okay, Cragger. I, I knew it. My brother. <laughs> Like, they had it, it wasn't very good, no, but I remember that taste. I remember that taste so distinctly. And it was such a novelty, being able to get pizza at McDonald's of all places, you know? It's a lot of... <laughs> Hydro, you've come at an auspicious time, my friend. A lot I want to ask, but I'm going to limit myself to one question. Is the reason the baby's right hand is like that? Um... Welcome to Tales from Off Peak City, Volume 1. That's pretty much all I can say. Remember McDonald's had pizza and then the boxes were too big to fit through the drive through window. Existed for five seconds, but it was good when it lasted in the location we got from. Yeah, I... They didn't... McDonald's pizza did not last long. I think it was less than a year. I think it was a matter of months. Uh, but I would get it every single time we would go. <laughs> Have a lot of pizza places in your general area. Town down the road from you, there's tons of food, uh, food restaurants. Sit in place and the mellow mushroom down there is really good. Right next to it is a Yogli Mowgli. You get pizza, then walk 80 feet and get ice cream, frozen yogurt. That sounds like the dream right there. We're not here to play games, we're here to talk pizza. It's the game's fault! I had to make that pizza! And he's saying on certain days, pizza needs a sauce bath. Clearly this is one of those days, Oddish. You understand. This is exactly the amount of pepperoni I was dreaming about before you showed up. Literally, this presentation was in my dream. I feel clairvoyant, Oddish. I believe what we have here is a mushroom with a side of pizza. Quite expressive, Oddish. I should eat better anyways, right, Barclay? Sometimes you just need to pile on the cheese. It's a statement, Barclay. A statement of cheese's medicinal properties. Wait, there was Subway pizza? I totally don't remember that. I think McDonald's stopped selling pizza before you were born. It, it, it's ancient history at this point at High Foam. It was, it was early 90s. It must have been early 90s. It is a lot of pepperoni, isn't it? Actually, you know what? No. The dark red spots are the sauce. The light red so spots are the pepperoni. So honestly, to me, this is, this is a dearth of pepperoni, if anything. Oh, was that it? Did they serve it on flatbread? Maybe that's the thing. Like, cause I'm I'm used to like pizza sandwiches. Like, there's so many places around here that serve like pizza bagels. It was an actual pizza. Yeah, the word. So, okay, the pizza sauce. You actually drop it like from a dropper. Hopefully, they'll get us to make another one, and I can show you. Take just one bite. You'll see. Your basal placement has elevated this pizza to a new level of purpose. Almost pesto-like in voluminous. Voluminousness. Osh's basil guides my tongue to the core of the pizza ideal. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> this is, uh, 
It's getting a little heavy in here. I love it, Oddish. For your hard work, I want to give you something. Not a bad pie, Oddish. Not bad at all. I just made back the money I spent on that camera. Subway still sell pizza in the U.S.? They had a subway on your Chicago to Iowa College Drive and your sister, uh, sister would get it. Dear Pizza, I want you to meet my mouth. Um... What just happened? Tiny piano? Apple Pie Paradox. Okay. Um, holy, what the what? It's a moving violation for unicycle. Holy shit, they actually scanned like an actual moving violation ticket and filled it out. Your pizza was so good he ascended. Uh, Freedom in the Cave Lamplighter Collection. The Society, a cultural analysis. Wow, they bump mapped this. This looks really good, actually. It says bicycle or skateboard, neither which is unicycle. I mean, maybe not in this reality. It's, um, I can't close it now. A tin of chocolate chips, give it. I've added chocolate chips to my pizza station. Uh, health potions, mana potions. You can't close the door on a freezer like that. You can't unsee those things. What a fascinating question. Are we gonna blackmail him? I don't even know anymore. There's a pipe organ under the sink. There's a lot going on here, chat. There's there, there's a lot to unpack, really. I didn't know you could get up on the roof. Oh, there's a there's a slip and slide down. Apotheosis film. Uh, so we had standard issue roll from Kentox Photography Incorporated. This is a private issue roll from Apotheosis Design Apparatus. Uh, so what happens if you take Apotheosis pictures? I wonder. Holy shit, you can really zoom in on this thing. Okay, so that's apotheosis. Um, okay, it just makes it all fucked up. Cool. Where do you keep your pipe organ then? I, I think that's a private matter. I, I don't really feel comfortable discussing that with the chat. the slowest water slide I've ever been on. Yeah. 
And here we are. Ooh, something else back here. Malm film. Sounds like filmy by an Ikea. A rare roll from the legendary Malm in Im Image Works. Okay, so what is, okay. Okay, let me. <laughs> I know that turtle I saw him on Oprah. Uh, hang on. Let's. Alright. Let's take a picture of their mom film and see what this does. That's a big ass dog. I didn't even notice. Uh, it gives it a blue tint. Rent. Vacate. Do not enter. Um. About the stoop sale, Paolo's pawn shop with an actual literal pawn. No diving. There is crossing them. I mean, I'm just, I'm just assuming. You see a dog with big head. The at, the ass gotta follow suit. We got some beluga row. That's the thing. To go diving. Not an option. Fortunately. I've lived in this neighborhood since 87. Worked at the big human resource Horizons Research Manufacturing Center across the street. Some people just call it the factory. Mainly just security at one of these three hidden gates, punching people in and out. For a while, it seemed like HRH employed this entire neighborhood. I never saw what they did inside. No one ever told me, and I never asked. Now you make chocolate chip and beluga road pizza like the monster you are. This is where you go to get your guns repaired. That's <laughs> Yakuza Zero. <laughs> anytime, and I, anytime I see a channel uh, in a city, I think of Yakuza Zero now. It's not just you, Cragger. Row on a pizza sounds like something I want to try. It could be good. Row has a very unique flavor, and even more unique texture. I feel like if you if you like stuff like fresh tomatoes on pizza, you might actually like Row. One day we all got a memo that we were being retired with full benefits. I had 10 years left before I could claim those kind of benefits. But hey, I couldn't say no to an easy life of early retirement. Call me lazy. My comfy perch, I've seen what this neighborhood has become. Something has to be done about it. There's a lot of unfinished business here. A lot of secrets well kept, dots still unconnected. We have plans for you, Oddish. By the way, I'm getting an achievement pretty much every time I talk to somebody. That's a thing. So this is the HRH emblem. And that's the HRH factory. Interesting. Uh, that can't be good. What a mess on a Sunday, no less. This is what causing an, a ne un any unnecessary distress. There you are. It's all as I suspected. Oh shit, it's Keitano. The store is yours now. When the calls come in, the ingredients are all there and you can get more. And I left something for you by the cooking station. Just keep the piece of place running. You didn't see any of this. And don't play any into anyone's plans. You're your own person, Oddish. Make the pizzas your way. Jan, Clarice, once they know the truth, they'll come back. Pain. Oh. Uh, okay. I don't like what I see over there, Oddish. Something's up if you ask me. Keitano standing at the counter like usual, staring into that computer monitor, oblivious. Next I hear is his loud crash. He's on the floor, face pale, clammy hands. Plus, that's the way he always was. It's not even a real ambulance. Human Resource Horizons logo? Oh, she's right. Hey, it's a remote part of the city, Oddish. As long as they know the way of the hospital, right? I thought I could handle this sort of work, but with Keitano gone, we still have pizza orders coming in. I know I should relax, Oddish. Kitano said keep the place running. But still, help. Uh, okay, let's make another pizza and then let's call this one for the night because we got a whole bunch of other games we can play. And it feels like now that now that the place is ours, it's kind of wide open, yeah? 
But I'm guessing we kind of have to just keep on with deliveries until we can uh, figure out how to get into that thing down there. I know, Toast. I know you've been waiting for these Itch.io games. Well, I've got I've got a whole bunch of them. Uh, Kitano's upstairs key. Yeah, let's make a pizza real quick. Um. Jeremy Grinsley, 26 July Avenue. We must, as always, consider the source. Hmm, okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted. All right, um, sauce. Okay, so this is, he here's the thing. This is how you apply sauce. <laughs> You just dribble it on there. Oh wow, I put so much sauce on it, it's starting to disappear. It's too much fucking sauce. I don't know what you're talking about. Seriously, no idea what you're talking about. Really kind of your hire for your friend to play violin on the process. Alright, this one is going to be mozzarella, basil, and roe. There we go. Put eat the shit out of this. Was that before or after I started putting the row on it? So if you keep the place open, not keep it profitable, then again, this might be why pizzas are $40. All right, we're going with this. Oh, oh. My pizzas always seem to lean in a particular direction. Oh my God, the cow watches it. The cow watched it go. That's pretty neat. It looks like the pizza's gonna fall off. It's, it really does. Don't use too much of the beluga. Put it on a light rotation. Yeah, it's a serious fucking ouch. Boom. Wasn't what was gonna happen, but I've uh, gussied up Totinas in the toaster oven now. Nice. All right, we got Jeremy's pizza. What, what then will Jeremy think of it? I don't know, and you won't either, because that's the end of Tales from Off Peak City for tonight. But I am going to work on this over the weekend. I would like to have a review of this out next week, next Wednesday, ideally, since this is the Reader's Choice selection for July, uh, June. I apologize for waiting so long to get to this one, but we've had a lot of stuff to stream this month, so. Do you like that? It's pretty neat, isn't it? I don't actually, as much as I enjoy games like this, I don't really end up playing a whole lot of like really artsy games like this. So I, I find it very enjoyable. So neat. Some very neat stuff up in here. And yeah, there are achievements for like everything. Uh, like every little bit of dialogue, talking to every person, getting into every room. So it's 38 achievements. And I get the impression that this is a pretty short game, so. There's an uh, option to adjust speed for eavesdrop dialogue speed. That is nice. I do have taskbar icons, it's true. Good on you if you recognize any of the more obscure ones. All right, gang, that was that. This is now. Um, so, so let, actually, let me share this with you. Let me blow out your eyes with this searing white, uh, are you seriously not? Come on, man. Zoom in. Okay. In the search to DLC season pass worth getting along the side of the base game. I don't know, I've never played the DLC. Someone here might know though. Um, so, this is our itch.io list that we're gonna be working off of. Sad no one second to my desktop goose nomination. 
Uh, I have sorted this by number of nominations. So the, and I've grabbed all the ones that got more than one nomination. So I've grabbed these for tonight, 10 games. So we're gonna be starting with Signs of the Sojourner. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get to that in a minute. Uh, if we get through those, we'll move on to stuff like Art School. Um, I might give Dominique Pamplemousse her own night uh, and do stuff like Village Monsters. I'm basically just gonna work down through this list over the next couple of uh, Fridays. Some of them, uh, Wide Ocean Big Jacket, we're actually gonna do on a Monday stream. I think actually the next Monday after we finish uh, The Outer Wilds, I'm gonna do Wide Ocean Big Jacket before starting on Killer7. Uh, same with Night in the Woods. Night in the Woods was nominated a long time ago as a Monday game. Uh, it actually came up for a vote. It lost, but it will come back eventually. So, Anyway, first game on our list, requested by the most people, uh, Signs of the Sojourner. Allow me to power this up for you. All right, now. Hopefully this will all work out. Most of these games are built in Unity. And sometimes OBS gets a little mad at Unity. So we'll just we'll just have to see. <clears throat> I already like the art style. Uptime is listed beside the viewers. Is that new? Yes. Um, Twitch updated the front end for everybody a couple weeks ago. And uh, the uptime timer was one of the new accoutrements. By the way, I know basically nothing about any of these Itch.io games, so this is going to be a, a big moment of discovery for me, not just you. A childhood spat. The worst fight you and Elias ever had was over a strange locket in Mom's desk. Curiosity got the best of you, but Elias was afraid of getting in trouble. Also, I want to mention, um, for the Itch games, we have no schedule. If this game fucking owns, we will play it for the next, like, three hours. Um, and we'll get to the other Itch, itch games next week. This is just this is just how we gon' do for uh, for the foreseeable future. We'll we'll play one game that I've chosen at the beginning of every Friday stream, and then it's just itch itch games, whatever we feel like. Just play them for however much it seems right, yeah. What's up, Azathoth? This is Signs of the Sojourner. This is the first of the big itch bundle games we're taking a look at. And thank you, chat, for backing me up. Your mom's collected so much cool stuff in here. How many towns she visited now? Empathetic and observant, logical and diplomatic. Okay. Connecting, drag and drop cards on the placemat to play them. Okay, I can do that. I guess you're trying to connect the symbols. Uh, completing a sequence will earn a doodad. A mismatch will earn a dark doodad. When all doodads or dark doodads have been earned, the conversation will end. Click on speech bubbles to view previous dialogue. So it's like a deck building conversation game. <laughs> Let's play Caravan Years, just like her. You be the driver, I'll be the navigator. Wait, hang on, you shouldn't look in her desk. She's gonna be mad. Is that a locket? I've never seen your mom wear a locket. Oh. Elias, you fucked it. Hey, you're not listening, we shouldn't be snooping. Wait, I don't have... But I don't have this one. Meow. Maybe it was dragging me into stuff like this. Get back before you get caught. This is Signs of the Sojourner, Vessi. That fight could have only ended how it did. You and Elias were too stubborn. Sometimes, Mom said, some stances deserve defense. But that time, you stepped in to mediate. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, as I thought, that one was apparently prescribed. That's how it was supposed to go. Yeah. You too. What are you doing in here? I'll need to leave soon. The caravan's almost here. Come say goodbye. What are you even fighting about? There we go. Perfect. It's okay to not 
not always understand each other. One miscommunication doesn't have to end a friendship. Let me help you figure this out. If you get a little lost, think about how he's reacted in the past, how you've been able to connect and get past your differences. Create it when you and the other person each play one card together, connecting four of the same symbol in a row. A chord will protect your progress when a mismatch is made. That's cool. Boom! Nailed it. Are all the cards, one side on the left, one side on the right, or you get uh, some flexible options? I don't know. Sometimes a disagreement can be winning. You don't necessarily want to agree with everyone. Interesting. Not all disagreements have to be the end of a friendship. Listen to each other, see if you can find common ground. You think back on that fight years, uh, years later after Mom passed on, when you and Elias had to rely on each other all the more. Fifteen years later. It's her first time back inside Mom's old store since the funeral. All told, she didn't leave much. She was always on the road, and what she brought back sold fast. Elias runs his hand down an empty shelf before clearing his throat. Hmm. You feel it too, don't you? The uh, weirdness of being in here without your mom. Can't seem to wrap my head around her being gone. My bad. Now I'm the one making things weird. <laughs> Accommodate. Duplicates both symbols of the previous card. That's cute. Kind of mom to raise a cat as her own child. So Elias is being very accommodating of us. Yeah, you're right. She wouldn't want us to dwell. I gotta cheer up. After all, she always looked so pleased when she was here. Making people smile, giving them samples of cool new stuff, even if they were broke. I think it might have just been her favorite place. She'd be so happy to see the two of us taking over the store like this. You out there in the open road, and me, uh... Keeping an eye on things here, which is totally just as exciting. Not that I mind, of course. Being stuck out there in the caravan would drive me crazy. Ah, uh, why did I do that? That was really dumb. I pulled, like, the one card that had triangle on the left, too. Oh, there's a caravan now, right on schedule. The leader Nadine runs a tight ship, but I don't trust her. I hear she's planning to drop the town from the caravan route. That'd be real bad for Bartow. Hey, while you're out there, maybe you can change your mind. Hey, you know, this reminds me, um, just while I'm thinking about it. So we do a Reader's Choice game every month, right? And Tales from Off Peak City, the, the last game we played, was the one for June, right? We're picking our July one right now, but I can't do it on Patreon anymore. They changed things on Patreon so only patrons can comment on uh, posts, and that's kind of bullshit for us because I don't require I don't want to require anybody to pay just to just have a say in what we do. So we're doing it on Discord now. So any all in Discord, any all that want to join us in Discord, the links below. Um, pop in there. There's a channel called Reader's Choice, and you can slap up a nomination in there. Pretty much any Steam game that's on sale for 30 bucks or less, uh, we'll vote on it, and whichever game wins, I will both stream and review next month. So, could be a good opportunity for some of y'all to get your new favorite game played. No matter what, you're gonna do great. I bet you'll come back with a bunch of cool stuff. Packed everything you need, right? Socks? truck breaks down out there and you don't have socks it's, it's all over actually incredibly rare that i join a streamer's discord people have been i've been watching for years still don't have me in the discord but you should, oh thank you manic i i think maybe i don't want to talk myself up but i feel like i, I feel like we've we formed a very special community here one that feels much more much more relaxed and like much more welcoming 
than a lot of a lot of streaming communities. So, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm a part of like quite a f quite a few good ones. Like like Tino's community is great. Echo Far's community is great. Just just to name two. But um, I really I really like hanging out with y'all here on streams and also in Discord. It feels it feels special. You'll miss Elias too, and we should never leave so soon. You planned this trip for a while, but only started to feel real in the last few hours. The store needs three new products. Hmm. Okay. Choose a card from your experience to gain, and a card from your past to forget. Whoa, that's really neat. All right, well, we'll take the accommodate, and we'll ditch one of these. This is seriously narrative deck building. It's so cool. Barto, quiet enough to hear the grasshoppers rub their wings together at dawn and the crickets at dusk. You know the name, nickname, and favorite color of every person in town. Past time to leave for a spell. Nadine, the resolute leader of the caravan. Almost a dozen vehicles sputter down Barto's dirt roads. Their engines once signal mom's imminent departure as well as a return. Nadine, sitting on the running board of her truck cab, gestures for your attention. I trust you have sufficient provisions for the route. Our first stop will be Pachino, pa, uh, pa, Pachenko, sorry, the artist colony. Nadine mentioned a place for mom's stories. Still a little skeptical of the deck building element in the game is interesting so far. Absolutely really enjoyed it. Got a lot of replayability. Every NPC has their own little plot line, that's cool. What's up, Peach, how's it going? Uh, you missed Tales from Off Peak City. It's pretty interesting. You might want to go check it out. Um, very artsy, very weird, uh, pretty captivating. I, I enjoyed the writing. I enjoyed the weird scenarios and that. Uh, we're just now getting on to Signs of the Sojourner, which is really cool so far. Yeah, and it was about making pizzas, which made everyone hungry. I like this music. It reminds me of the more ethereal uh, Bibio albums. I don't think I've ever listened to Bibio. Not a name that rings a bell. All right, this person, all right, here we go. So circle is empathetic and observant. Triangle is logical and diplomatic. I'm guessing that's her. Let's give it a try. I was wrong. My secret plate, I'm always hungry. Yeah, link it up, Bacon Copter, I'll check it out. I know you're going through a lot right now. For that, I'm sorry. Wow, everybody's being really nice to me. What's this game? This is Signs of the Sojourner. It's in that giant Ichio bundle uh, that they were running a week or two back uh, to benef uh, benefit the protests and Black Lives Matters. Um, this appears to be a narrative deck building game where you have, you have cards that represent different like emotional responses and you play them in turns with the other character and you're trying to guess how they're going to reply to you. And if you get it right, you get like a positive interaction. And if you get it wrong, you get a disagreement. Really neat concept. I mean, we've only been playing this for like 10 minutes. My condolences for your loss. Your mom and I had our differences, but I respected her all the same. Before the caravan heads out, we need to talk. Unless you turn the store around and keep it well stocked, the caravan will have to drop bar, bar tower from the route. So this maybe is where we're gonna be logical and diplomatic. So each of the symbols re represents a different, a, like a different emotional response. So far we've been getting a lot of empathy, but it sounds like she's slipping more into a logical frame of mind. So we're gonna try this. Yes, okay, cool. Um, cool, okay, I got it. Without the store in good shape, it doesn't make sense for the caravan to stop here. Awful waste of resources. It also seems like the game doesn't end. Like, you don't get a failure state for, for getting a bunch of uh, disagreements. It just changes the tone of the story, which is a, a good way to handle it. I probably don't have to spell it out for you. This would be bad for Bartow. I know you all depend on the traffic. This is Signs of the Sojourner. Um, it's on Itch.io. I don't remember if it's on Steam or not. When you go talk to someone, I'll show you the two primary symbols. Gotcha. 
Supper Almabor, yes, a game without anglerfish, as, as far as I know. It's exactly what I needed here at the end of the week. Really not looking forward to going back to Dark Bramble. Suspect you could fail all of them if you wanted to, haven't tried though. I bet that I bet that make for a pretty interesting story, actually. If you played a protagonist that was just like cold and standoffish to everyone. Oh yeah, as a thought. We spent Monday and Tuesday doing Outer Wilds, and it was a trip. We're gonna be back on it on Monday. Not my choice, not entirely. I make the final call, but I'm beholden to caravan members and their needs. Believe it or not, Bartow would be dropped already if I didn't know your mom a favor. Favor, I argued on your behalf. <clears throat> mm. Okay. Seemed like she shifted back into an empathetic mode. It might not sound like a kid, but I'm in your corner. My hands are tied with this. I want to see you succeed. So this is how that went. We started out with a, di with a disagreement. And we ended with a bunch of agreements. Nothing about the situation is good, but Nadine probably isn't to blame. You thank her for the info. Choose a, uh, so I really like this. I really like this as a concept. Choose a card from your experience to gain. So you get to choose one of the cards that your partner played. And then you choose a card to discard from your current deck. It looks like your deck is only 10 cards. <clears throat> All right, time to move on. Trips remaining, five. You need to find three items to make the store reopening a success. Um, items, none. There's our deck. Uh, we also have abilities. So accommodate is an ability, and accord is, is an ability. You have to exchange a card after every conversation, which is cool. It's like lived experience. Uh, apparently there are 33 characters to interact with, which is pretty cool. Total concordant conversations, total discordant conversation, and then their current location. Um, there we go. All right, so we're going to Pachenko. Ain't nobody knows that you're a cat. Seems logical enough to me. Thriving arts community on the high plateau. I love the art style in this too. I love the bright colors. I love the sketchy style. This is an awesome looking character. Like just super unique. I mean, even even this character. I feel like I feel like the idea is like this this is this universe's version of like a, a plain by the book sort of person. She still looks awesome. She still looks super cool. Big Copter, thank you so much for spamming the music channel with some good shit. That is what that channel is for. A painter with the disposition of a small, nervous calf. Artist stall. Tomas sits demurely, surrounded by paintings that depict fruit, trees, and most prolifically a calico cat rendered in the finest detail. Each portrait is signed with an illegible flourish, different each time. Hi. Let the crowds fade as you inhabit the uh, lacunae inside each piece. I'll be quiet as you converse with the art. I hope you like it. Oh, I need to provide a statement. I wonder if we're gonna get a different emotional response from this person. What the fuck did you just do? Clarify can be inserted between any valid match or played normally. Clarify. I found this game a while back via Screenshot Saturday on Twitter. Screenshot Saturdays are great. You can find so many interesting indie projects from that. That's funny. Um, that piece is called Self-Portrait Number 5. I felt such an affinity with the tree depicted. It's a good tree. How does it make you feel when you stare at the branches? It was not my intention at all, but at least it elicited your reaction from you. Oh, I got a piece of the trash. Self-portrait of a tree. 
Um, alright. We'll use an Accommodate here. <gasps> no! Well, we got through it anyway. Oh, you like that one. Let me wrap that for you. Safe and secure on your travels. My first sale this month. Having my first art show next month. You can come if you like. Every compliment on Tom Tomas's artwork is a drop in a bottomless bucket. Who knows if you've done anything for self-esteem, but the painting is nice. A, a chord saved me? Yeah. One of Tomas's paintings. The colors are astounding. I could say the same in this game. All right, I'm definitely taking Clarify. We can ditch one of these for that. All right, Nadine, what's up? Nadine contemplates a cast bronze sculpture of a frill-necked lizard whose head has been replaced with a man's vacant features. Sounds like our last game. She rubs her chin for a while, chewing on some thoughts. We handle those steep hills and inclines well. The caravan's next stop will be Clifton, the market town. The road we take is prone to landslides. Ride close. If I can't see your truck, I can't protect you. I think we're gonna get a logic. Oh, heavily logic. Um. Add a clarification. Damn. All right. Well, I guess we gotta accommodate this. Ah, it's neat. As I say it out loud, it sounds like an actual conversation. Like I don't know how to respond what she, to what she just said, so I clarify a previous statement. And then I still don't know what she's on about, so I try to be as accommodating as possible. This is super cool. This is such a great idea for game. Your mom, she had a lot of history here in Pachenko. Many friends, I believe. She always loved the licorice. Ooh, mom. Such a clever system on so many levels. Yeah. You admire the sculpture with Nadine in companionable silence for a moment, imagining how mom must have found herself in an identical situation many, many times over the years. So this one, this one had one amenable and one disagreement. So either way this would have gone, it would have changed the story. Game that teaches proper communication, burn it. Burn it. Um, ooh. Let me see here. We'll take this one and replace one of these, I think. And I love the concept of these conversations and experiences that you're sharing with these characters is actually changing you as well. Like it, it's like you're you're building your 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 skills at discourse during this. I think we'll do Clifton and then we'll move on to another game. Because I feel like I feel like we've got a pretty guy. We got a pretty good handle on what this game is, and I really like it. I like it a lot. Gain fatigue over time as you travel. Returning home and unpacking your items will remove it. Fatigue cannot match with any symbols. You're too tired to keep up the conversation. I like that. That crowds out your deck. Klaus. Ramir. Every turn down the streets of Clifton seems to reveal another mountain in the distance, another horizon. Nadine doesn't stop for the sightseers, though. You watch for pedestrians as the caravan rolls downtown. So everyone's still kind of on the same symbols so far. Further you go, the more different symbols come into play and more special cards. So you can't agree with everyone because you can't have all the right cards. That's so cool. Kind of, a, kind of an important life lesson just like slipped in the middle of that. You know his name, Ramir. He grew up in Barstow, traveled with the caravan, turned from neighbor to visitor. He's sitting on the off the hood of a car the same way he used to sit off his porch way back in the day. First time with the caravan, ain't it? Hope your mom taught you the ropes. Not easy out here. I remember my first time. Pashenko, Clifton, Buck and Boro. A whirlwind of new exper experiences. Just keep your cool. The road to Buck and Boro shreds a lot of tires. Don't panic, it all goes to hell. The best we can do is this. Oh, hey, that worked out. Are you gonna flip back? Hmm. So part of this is pattern recognition, huh? 
Remember, everyone you meet on the road is out here for a reason. Most won't tell you what that is. Don't believe every word that comes out of someone's mouth, even if they're nice. I always respected your mom. She thrived out here completely in her element. A shark if I ever knew one. Going for an accord if you can is nice. Just because you had friends on the road doesn't mean you do. You don't inherit connections. Observe reveals the other person's hand when played. Oh, neat. So he revealed our hand. Uh, not a whole lot I can do about this. Ah, whew. Your partner has their own deck and seem to play by the same rules as you. I bet Observe is useful, yeah. It took your mom years to build her network. It'll take you time, too. I don't want to see you ruin what she made. So... Out of their out of their hand, will they match if they can, or even or, or will they or will there be times where even if they have a match that they'll choose something discordant? Are they more are they more more beholden to their pattern, or are they more beholden to making matches? Look at his hat. It's pretty neat. He has the two symbols on it. He does the triangle and the circle. That's a good point. I think they match if they can. You nod along to Ramir's advice. He glances over every so often to make sure you're paying attention, which seems to satisfy. Things set you up very poorly. Okay, I definitely want you. Um, and we'll replace one of the existing cards like that. She's watching travelers walk past. Snack peddler. Ven vendors in Clifton compete to make the grandest promises. Delivered with the loudest, most tenacious voice. For every woe, there's a product that can fix it. Klaus, on the other hand, is quiet, barely audible, beneath the crowds. You must be with that caravan. Hello to you, traveler. Safety in numbers, is that it? Very wise. I'm a humble peddler of roasted nuts. Don't you enjoy those, traveler? Who does not? Life's simple pleasures. Um, wow, I have nothing to play. I guess we're just gonna beat shit on this one. Do my wares not interest you? Perhaps I can yet change your mind. Interesting! So being discordant on this one isn't like, we're not like, yo, fuck you, you suck. It's just like, we're not gonna buy your nuts. That could actually be like a conscious decision, yeah? observe. Hmm, interesting. Mom, my nuts. I don't actually remember meeting this person at the time. I wonder if there's some randomness. There could be. And that's extra cool, if so. But don't tell anyone. If everyone knew I sell roasted nuts, they'd buy them up. None left for you. We can share a secret, can't we? You and I. Just a little information. A mere factoid. Kept safe between us. <laughs> Cute, I like her. Perhaps you might even trust me with your own secrets. You know so much about me and I, so little about you. Scandalous. I know you sell nuts. That's literally it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna accommodate this bullshit. Ah, uh, okay. she lost her arm in the nut mines? That's a good question. How does how does roasting nuts end you up down an arm and down an eye? Someone inquires after these roasted nuts. Simply laugh, smile, and toss a delicious handful into your mouth. Klaus makes purchasing a simple bag of roasted nuts feel like a clandestine operation. You promise to keep your secrets. Whatever those are. Um... I'm gonna trade up one of these for one of these, I think. All right, um, Nadine's helping a caravan member replace a tire. Let's head back. Oh, hey. The bright, unobstructed sun over Clifton powers up the truck quicker than usual. Uninvited, Ramir opens your passenger to your side door and hops inside. What a rude man. Got a proposition. The caravan usually gets around to Anka last, but we've got something to take care of there. 
So this is gonna determine whether or not we do it. Ah, interesting. You need, you need three agreements, but one disagreement will snap you out of this. And he's being disagreeable, yeah. Business with the railroad. Got a lot of folks working to get the train back in operation. Whenever something like that goes on, there's money to be made. And I don't mean for manual labor, no thanks. actually pull this off. Place the caravan goes next. Uh, Bukamboro. It's nowhere town. Less folks than Barstow. Serious. All the endless joke for sale in Anka would impress the homebodies back in Bartow. Worth your time. Ooh, boy. Accord seems to make a big difference. Accord is like your safety net if you don't know what's going on. It might even be fun. The road from here goes on forever. It feels, it feels like I could tell you all kinds of stories. You don't have to decide right now. Just think about it. Two bar towers on the road. Having an adventure. So I guess we... You'll think about driving by Anka, and that seems good enough for Ramir for now. So, okay. So we opened up the possibility of doing this. That's cool. The music kept reading as Barstow. I didn't, I, it didn't even occur to me. Yeah, it, it didn't register with me until just then. I imagine that had to sound pretty stupid. Oh, Anka's way up there. All right, we're gonna stop here because I think we've got a really good, we got a really good fix on what this day is, but it's cool. I like this a lot. Uh, we have a calendar that marks all the stuff that we've done. Um, I've got one of Tomas's paintings and roasted nuts to sell at the shop. This is my deck. So I've discovered accommodate, clarify, observe, fatigue, and accord. There's still six more abilities to locate. Look at Anka first just to see the symbols and introduce a new one. Okay. Ah. Direct and forceful. How interesting. That's pretty cool. It's kind of like the narrative version of, um, of uh, Mini Metro. <laughs> the, mer the, the narrative deck building version of Mini Metro. All right, this is cool. Saving. I like that. I like that a lot. Very, very much. So we can go ahead and mark this one off. We've done it. When, he, when is Mini Motorways going to come to Steam? Soon, I hope. I don't know how the Apple Arcade agreements work. If it makes you feel any better, I don't really think Mini Motorways is as good as Mini Metro. Mini Metro felt like a more... Mini Metro felt like, felt like the more refined puzzle game. Mini Motorways, at one, it, it feels like it has fewer options, and the options you have don't function as well, if that makes any sense. It's, 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 it's an odd game. I still enjoy it. Like, while I had Apple Arcade, I still played through... I, I beat all the scenarios that were included in it. But it is... it is. I don't think it's as good. It's still a good game, but just not as good as what we already have. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't miss it too much. I'm trying to remember what the traffic drawing game I played a while back was called. There's a couple of them, aren't there? There was a train one I wanted to try, and I already forgot what it's called. I think I just like trains in general. 
Um, okay, next game up is Minute, which I'm hoping is going to run. Um, try again. Oh, it did. Okay. This is actually... Let me find uh, the audio options real quick. This is a Devolver Digital game. Um... Should I be doing this with the... Uh... Should I be doing this with the controller? You're pretty interested, Minute? Yeah, I bet this is. All right. Uh, let's be vegan. It might give us superpowers like uh, in Scott Pilgrim. Use Knit to walk. Hello. I'm adorable. Doggo. Hi. Ow. Well, that was stupid. Hey, a sword. I like swords. You look like my old Tamagotchi. I got it! Chop. 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 So I noticed we have both health and a timer. Hello there. I like to hear the ocean. Sometimes I wave at the boats. Anyway, for the treasure, avoid sharks. Swim west of here, then at the little rock, head south. Avoid sharks, swim west of here, at the little rock, head south. Please talk faster, sir. Time's up! Oh shit, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Get fuck grab. Hi, what's up? You think that you took that cursed sword? Please drop by the factory ASAP. Yeah, I got a treasure find first though. So is it the sword that fucked us then? Can I take your boat? I just destroyed your boat. Died already. Can't believe how bad artists is it this game. What are you looking at? Nothing. If only someone would take care of those four crabs, you should be a lot busier here. Wish there was some music. That was pretty sweet. Wish there was a real- Fuck you, dude. Ah, that's it. That's the good stuff. Do you feel it? Oh, I feel something, all right. Okay, stop by the factory. What's the factory? Uh, here's a duck person. The water is nice and warm here. Great, I'm gonna die. Hey. Who saw this? Whoop. I got the watering can. Sweet. Wait, I, I dropped the sword, but now I'm still gonna die. <laughs> Die trying to please others. They're gonna put that on my tombstone. Oh, there's a sword. Oh, did I like? Ah, I get it. It's like I unlocked a new tool. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna water my crops before I die. Something grow, please. Hard die value. Nothing grew. Fuck you, plants. You mean nothing to me. 
It's dark in there, be careful. It's dark in there, I should be careful. Um, that's the thing. Star Doom Valley. I've been thinking about introducing my uh, eight-year-old to Stardew Valley. Cause she loves, um, Land is the best. She loves Animal Crossing, but she mainly loves the customization of it. She loves designing her village and laying everything out. And how the fuck do I move these? Okay, that guy said something about four crabs. Let's try that. Introduce your old Dragon Quest Builders 2. She actually saw it today. Um, I was on my computer uh, doing stuff on our YouTube, and she saw it, and she was like, oh, that's that looks really cool. I was explaining to her it's like Minecraft. She's just a little worried because Minecraft makes her motion sick. Like, I get motion sick very easily, and my daughter, it's seeming like she's going to be even more so. Fuck yeah, I got coffee. Grabs are gone, here's free coffee. She'll let you push boxes. Should what? I can push boxes now, holy shit. I completely missed the crop I was supposed to water. Oh no! Maybe portal knights with daughter? No, I want the key. I have a lighthouse key. Drug the caffeine and brimming with power. All right, lighthouse, go. <laughs> Portal Knights might be pretty fun. I played Portal Knights a bit on my own, and I rather enjoyed. It. I didn't even honestly. I didn't know it was still going. That's kind of a surprise to me. I got a flashlight. I know what to do with that. Amazing snake eater. What's up, Echo Far? It's Minute. We're playing Minute from the big Twitch uh, Itchio bundle. I like Portal Lights a lot more if your movement speed wasn't tied to a stat. Oh, I didn't realize that. I did not realize that. Well, death is certain. Duck, comfort me in my final hours. Thank you for being there for me. Wait, no, I don't want to go this way. Shit, shit. Yes. Yeah, I'm playing this for the first time. I've never tried this before. Oh, but I can push this too. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh. What do I do? What do I do? I can go this way. Hey! Eat my ass. I'll open the bridge if you take care of those creeps. All right, so we need some kind of ranged weapon. Uh, maybe over that away, but I only have 20 seconds. Hiss, hiss. Hiss, hiss. Ah, uh, it's just these stairs. Okay. That's a bull. Okay, we're gonna do that a lot faster. Maybe you're in The Sims in a couple of years. Oh God, yes, she would love that. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm I'm trying to think of something because I think she's fallen off of Animal Crossing a bit, and I think she might be more interested in something that she has like full control over. Because lately she's gone back to her Calico Critters, Sylvania Family. I don't I don't know what what you guys might know it as in your respective parts of the world. But she's been building little towns and stuff out with uh, with them, and having a great time with it. Sign maker award winning. New home selected. Neat. I can start from here now. Sneaker hut. Is this the factory? 
Oh, I see your hide. Only seven coins for a pair of fast shoes. I have none. And I'm about to die. Oh, no. Oh, no. This dumb desert goes on forever and there's nothing. <laughs> I've played this game several times, only just realized the sprite is the hilt uh, of the sword because it's on his back. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Well, that looks like something. All right. Seven coins gets us a, a doodad. Warning, endless desert. Ow! Did she get into using Harvest Studio and Animal Crossing? My eight-year-old used it a bit. My f Oh, shit. No, I'm dead. I found a thing and I died anyway. Um... My eight, my four-year-old actually got huge, huge into Harvey's. Like that's basically all she ever did. And I'm excited to swim and dive in Animal Crossing. I didn't know you could actually do that. Yeah, both of my daughters have very strong creative streaks and I'm so happy about that. Cause I, you know, I was a pretty creative kid. I liked, I liked writing, I liked drawing, I liked playing with Legos. And between the two of them, they share all of that. Um, they love designing things. They love making things. My older daughter, actually, she's more in, she's more interested in getting like art supplies than toys because she likes making her own toys. I begin to see the problem here. Okay, we're not making that. Life will crush those joys out soon enough. You need running shoes to get through here. All right, so let's go back to that busted. Oh, that's what the sneaker hut is for. That's what we need the sneaker hut for. Okay, it all makes sense now. Sylvania Families reminds me that I used to do stuff like that with your grandma's figurines. Hi. Leave the plants alone. No. Oh, he piss. Hey, owned him. I got the sword thrower. And then progressive Barbie soap operas, then stealing the ladder from the pool in The Sims. Neat, I can throw my sword now. Here's this dumb thing. Then I'm not gonna get to explore. This is a treasure chest, I see it now. Okay, we're getting that. Wait, no, it's this way. This is really cool. This is really cool. I have to assume some of you played Half Minute Hero, yeah? This, this feels kind of like that, but I don't know. I never really got into Half Minute Hero. Here we go. I'm basically just here for this treasure. I got a coin. Half Minute Hero lost me on stage would take like half an hour. <laughs> kind of kind of betrays the premise, doesn't it? You've beaten this game twice in the 97 minutes you played it. But that seems appropriate. That seems like this like what this game should be. Alright, we need coin. Let's see what's back this way. You went back and 100 percent of this one? Nice. This. Are you said I need a ranged weapon for this? Uh yes! Yes, I do! Oh my god, I do. Oh, I do. Okay. 
I figure I'm just gonna waste this life wandering down the coast like this. It's a game where the dev was like, yeah, I never indent any of my code, and I can't help but think of that every time I see it. If it took you that long to take off, I just went five streams. <laughs> Uh, okay, so where was... Is that over here? Oh, this is bull. Okay, this is kind of a long, stupid way, but... Actually, I guess... Look up of the 45 minute mark. Let me... Let me reset my original house. And you know what? Let's water that plant that I somehow missed. Everyone does the bad puns. I wish, I wish Manic had a monopoly on it, but unfortunately he doesn't. Four streams and declares himself victor without completing it. Ah, uh, y'all know me far too well. If you open the menu, you can just die to reset your timer. Oh, I didn't know that. Interesting. Oh, you have to, okay, you have to stand still for it. Hey, ow. Boing. Hey. Hey, thanks, here you go. Feel free to grab my little camera. Okay. Never got the good music playing. Talk to the guy to see if he rewarded you. It's not much use for adventuring, but it does take nice pictures. Check my laptop for more information. Find your picture at minute camera. No way, really? It automatically uploads the pictures? Hold A and aim to take a picture. That's... Cool and not. I'm sure it'll have a purpose, but. All right, well, let's go back to that bar then. All right, we have unlocked camera. I guess I need to keep watering that sprout, huh? That's good stuff, you feel it? Everything is terrible. Dab. Land is the best. Okay, so we wanna be able to get around there somehow. And then this was a dead end. Hmm. What is a camera going to do for me? Items. It's cursed! Good way to start the day. Allows you to push boxes. Why don't people light their dungeons? No lighthouse door can stop you now. Free watering can right next to your house for those hard to reach targets. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll, I just will, I guess we'll keep watering the thing then. I want to get to this guy's factory that he mentioned. Oh, factory is the end of the game. Take some pictures of people. See if it does anything. Hey, he's gone. I wonder if he only appears when I have the uh, sword out. There's a button to suicide if you can't wait for the entire minute. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I, I found the explode self. Hey, I found a heart. Now I won't die quite so easily. 
All right, well, that's that. Um, let's, hang on. Let's, let's head back to the right and see if there's anything cool over there that I can now interact with. No, it was just this little pocket where in there. There's a there's a neat little cave over there. I feel like the main thing I need right now are coins to get the shoes. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get to the next. Yeah, because that goes up to there. All right, please be careful. Well, I'm glad you're inadvertently staying safe, goat. <laughs> That's good, at least. <laughs> Snake be gone. Plant needs more watering. Uh, we'll do it. We'll do it another time, perhaps. I got a heart from him, too. Sweet. All right, let's reset our sign here. Famous sign maker that way. So maybe let's go check him out. Beefy hearts. Oh, it's swampy. Gross. This is not what I needed. Hey, a saw. Give it. Told you the ways this way. Give, give me the friggin' give it. I want it. Eat my ass. I should kill him. That was abominable. <laughs> Told you the oasis was fake. <gasps> camera, 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 camera. Take camera to oasis. Take picture of oasis. Go to guy. Music's good, too. I think we would have said that to you if you talked to him before killing the Oasis Ghost. Nope, not that one. He's a bit up and somewhere from there. Oh, hell, where is it? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Urgh. No, I can't find it anymore. Where would I be if I were an oasis? You don't think it exists anymore. So wait, I can just go back to him? Picture of Oasis, just make sure it doesn't blow. Oh my god. Ugh. You're not very good at this. You're dying almost every minute. Amazing sign maker. <laughs> Told you the Oasis was fake. But. Okay. Alright, I guess maybe there's something else out in the desert that we could go find. Secret temple. Lost person, someone help them. Okay. I will help the person. Hi. Water. Uh, I have a water can. Just pour it directly on your face. I can see this being really engrossing. Pug puzzling out every, uh, every step of this journey. It's pretty neat. Also helps is absolutely adorable too. Save my life, come see me the sign maker, fuck. Maybe in my next life. I wanna die at home. In my bed. Peacefully. If if Bitch, 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 bitch. 
freeways. That was a truck. Grab the item west of here and come see me in my boat. Okay. Oh. Got the gardening glove. Okay. Factories are bad. 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 I didn't... Oh, that must, oh, that must be what the gardening glove does. Also avoid splinters when cutting down trees. Yeah, okay. So now I can cut down wood, woodsy things here. I'm getting mixed messages. All right, that changes everything. Okay, I tell you what, before we get before we get any deeper into this one, let's move on to the next game because I think a bunch of you have seen this before. Um, a bunch of you know what's going on. It's definitely cool. It's definitely very very cool. So I'm sure I'll be playing more of this. It's not a long game either, from what I'm gathering. <sighs> By the way. By the way, uh, if there's anything Dawn Just Dusk Dream Sewer is like 10 minutes long, we might get to that one tonight, actually. Um, if, if you see anything during one of these Friday night streams that you want to see more of, uh, feel free to nominate it up for a Monday or Wednesday slot. And if it gets a bunch of nominations, I'll set it aside. And we'll do a full playthrough of it. I recommend getting 100%. You miss out on a lot of the puzzles otherwise. Okay. I will see what I can do. It feels like the kind of game that I could sit there and like while away at for a long time. All right, we're going to play Art's Cool. Art's Cool. Art. Art. Cool. Art. Cool. The funny part is in the, in, when it installs itself, it spells itself correctly. Art school with a Q. Graphics quality low, graphics quality high. I disagree. 100% accurate simulation of art school in your experience. Art school. <laughs> Hello, Froshman. Welcome to art school. My name is Professor Quartz. I'm an advanced neural network trained over a hundred thousand- Ort. Ort. Y'all gonna lose your fucking minds if that developer gets a full- gets a full release for that game? I mean, I imagine I'd just have to drop everything and play it, huh? Oh, the bitray hates this? Uh, 100,000 teraflops the greatest artwork in the world. I'll be your faculty advisor this semester. My job is to analyze your work against my vast database and give you constructive feedback. I was made by scientists, so I'm really good at this. Oh, don't worry. It sounds technical, but art school is really simple. Once you get the hang of it, just use your drawing pad to complete the assignments I give you. The art school campus is here to inspire you. It's loaded with some really beautiful scenery. Well, I'm sure you're eager to get started. Loading. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get, let's get, draw something you hate. When you've completed this assignment, return to my office for critique. Good luck, Froshman. And once again, welcome to our school. Okay. Remember that. Oh, God. Everything's going to be like this, isn't it? Oh, I just made of Legos. Oh, God Almighty. Totally lighting up for this. Entire game made of fire blue. Brushman got another color swatch. Oh, God, the movement. It's technically. Oh, God. 
I don't know how to tell you this. I don't know how to explain this. But like, oh, Lord have mercy. Like, strafe is not strafe. It's just like, fuck off in a loop in this direction. Draw something you hate. Um... There you go. Thank you. Thank you, Baking Copter. Oh, this is Sonic OC. <laughs> Surprisingly good Bubsy from memory. I've 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 been there. I've been there for a while. I can't get I can't get the smarm is the problem. Like that's that's what's destroying me here. Let me see here. It's just, it's, it's too cartoony. I cannot, I cannot get that level of smarm. I, I can't, I can't do it. It's a really good Arrow the Acrobat, fuck you. Lovely persona oddish. <laughs> this might, this might sound bizarre. You might not believe me. I was actually pretty good at art when I was a kid. The problem is I didn't, I didn't pursue it. I got, I got really good at like portrait drawing and imitating other stuff, but I couldn't, I, I never quite got the fundamentals down to make my own stuff. Half open eye, eyelids smirk one eyebrow up. I think this is gonna make it way worse. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Let's let let let's go do things. The eyebrows are too kind. Can I can I close? Can I make this? Can I make this? Okay. Let's make this go away. Let's 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 not be on about that at the moment. Bubsy the Blaze Cat, stop doxing me. <laughs> now he looks like a proper shit. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> Y'all gonna be the death of me. This guy was trying to play Bubsy, but then I got eye. Oh lord. Oh god, what have I done? What is this? Aha! I bested you. You wish you were high. Uh, I got a paintbrush. Brushman got the thick brush, I guess. Something. Oh! Oh, how about that? Oh, how interesting. You can just... The hell even is this? Oh, God! Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. The hell even is this game? Welcome back, Froshman. Let's take a look at your work. Analyzing. Assignments 1 of 50, brushes of 4 of 16, swatches 2 of 6. Draw the last person you said, I love you too. 
Oh god, am I in prison? Am I in art prison? No. I got a pink swatch. Well, Obsol, then you would have to draw me. Wouldn't you? No, I didn't. Hello, Frashman. Analyzing. I think this piece needs a little more work. Come back when it's finished. A slice of that piece that you had earlier. It's, um... Say the stream to your family if you don't draw them. You are my family, chat. God, we're somewhere else. So whenever you go in the building, it's like turning an assignment. Analyzing. Color, composition, line work, all on point. Approach, maybe don't draw your Twitch chat next time. <laughs> Make a breathtaking, undeniable masterpiece that will inspire generations. Chance to do your rendition of Goatsy. I need more color swatches for that. What is, what is this? How do you draw the poop emoji? Look on F chat. I want you to make a breathtaking, undeniable masterpiece that inspire generations. So we have to do it again. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, first of all, this is bullshit. Um, you don't get to tell me what is and is not a masterpiece. I don't care how much you paid for your degree. Um, is that sign written in Wingdings? Got another color swatch. She was art stool. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No! Fuck! Jesus! God! No! Okay, that's a hole. Fascinating. Probably made me think of that one might give an F every time. Yeah. 
But apparently it won't let us move on until we actually make a breathtaking... Look at the wingdings again. Oh no, I don't want to go in here. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 was that a... No, that was just a weird thing. Um, checker... The South App phone is called Wang Dangs. Draw Mario. Ah, huh, okay. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Well, right from the start, we know this sign is a white supremacist, so that kind of puts a damper on the whole proceedings. I love games do Deckleton jump. Wee! I've had enough hard school. Oh, there's a little tiny island out there. Oh, we need to check that out. Mom Wingdanger. I also love that he starts to, like fall on his ass when you plunge from a great height. I want more brushes. It said we had like. There's like 16 brushes in the game. We found a ton of color swatches, but very, very few brushes. Here we go, we got the grease pencil. That's what we need for a masterpiece, for sure. Oh, fuck you, chairs. Ugh. No! Don't need this shit. Ugh. Gone. There's a bunch of island, isn't there? We're going to that little one over there. Eat this chair out of existence. You destroyed freshman orientation? Good, I am completely disoriented. And I wish the same on anyone else here. Oh my god, Dominic. I think I have a stroke just looking at that. Ah! I found the watercolor brush. Nice. All right, we are going for a trip. This might take a while, chat. The music is dope. I really like it. I like the feel of this one. I like that it managed to hit on like eclectic artistic weirdness without feeling particularly cheap or contrived. Color swatch. Right. Purple, and we got our square bush. Okay. They're Unicode wing wingdings. All right, make a breathtaking, undeniable masterpiece that will inspire generations. Hmm. Which way does that one go? Does it go like? Been checking on this piece of Pac-Man, you ingrates. You uncultured boobs. Draw Gnar like one of your French girls. It's, it's the enduring classic that is Pac-Man. Hey, there we go. Fucking Pac-Man gets a B. Always packed with it. He made it a smash. I mean, come on. <laughs> Spice. Draw something from your personal history. 
Draw something from your personal history. Spin off the back line. I've never been in jail. What kind of... What was... It's... Lies and slander. Personal browser history. Uh, I don't want to get banned. I don't think he's putting you in prison. He doesn't trust my uh, artistic genius. Hey, book it. Um, draw something with my personal history. Okay, what about? What does a watercolor brush look like? Oh, it's pretty. Here on Tuesday, you know what this is. I consider this extremely personal history. All right, where can I turn this shit in? Uh, are you a door? <laughs> the goddamn Gungans. <laughs> I got like maximum color and approach. Go me. We're halfway at brushes. There was only one swatch left. As a neural network, it's very hard for me to understand the emotion you call sadness. Please illustrate it. Oh. I got the text tool. This is from when I got catfished by chat. I've been on that little island over there. I don't know where the hell I am even. I don't know how this relates to anything else. Type an F and turn it in. Oh, this is okay. So this is below there, and that's the island that we started on. But there's a little dinky one. Yeah, over there. Let's go to that one. And then let's maybe try to get in the clouds, too. Don't know where you are. Don't know how anything relates. You're deep in the art now. I am the art. I am the art, Randy. What if you fall? What if I don't fall? Yeah, Manic, they asked for sadness, not abject horror. Art, art, art. Art, art, art. Ah, this thing hurts. Ow. 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 Ow, the pain. Okay. Uh, well, this seems like a good place to draw sadness. Sometimes the ort is me, and sometimes I am the ort. All right, um, I'm gonna make it blue. This. Type out your review of Pacify. Oh, oh, you're solid. Oh. Ugh. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, this is good. This feels like progress. I feel like we're getting- we're, I feel like we're really getting somewhere with this game. All 
Alright, what happens if you just fall? You go back to class! Let's take a look at your work. Hey! I have done it. I have taught the algorithm sadness. You drop into the void to hand in your work. That's great. I feel like you're getting pastel a lot of this game. Jesus. Draw a fungus. Draw a fungus. I have red. Ah, no. No, I need, um... Thank you, High Palm. I appreciate that. Now give him a gun. <laughs> yeah, from memory. I told you guys, I'm not a bad artist. I I had... I had my chance when I was younger. Give Toad a ball. Don't have mushroom for pun. Oh Jesus! Toad is a living bomb. Um. Oh, I thought. Oh, I do. I do have fill, don't I? There we go. Okay. Well, I fucked this one up, but it doesn't always have to be this way. Um. I was probably eternally tripping makes you think. Uh... There we go. Not bad. Actually, you know what? Since I had to use pink, let's make this. Make this toadette. There we go. Um, I don't have white. Damn it! It didn't even occur to me that I can't really, I can't really delete stuff artistically. anymore. This is, I mean, I, <laughs> I put my soul in this one. Alright, so that's art school. I think, I, I think we've got, I think we've got a pretty good idea of how this one goes. <laughs> More like fart school. You expect, what does quick time know of art? Yeah, I, I think we're gonna have to set this one aside while I ponder the, the deeper intricacies of, of the whole fungus paradigm. Uh, Cause obviously, obviously, my vision of fungus 
and the algorithm's vision of fungus don't don't entirely align fully so i think we're gonna need to take some time to really to really mull this one over what's up Ronimus? how you doing buddy uh this is art school uh we'll actually we're just we're just wrapping this one up because the algorithm is a piece of shit uh so let's get you caught up so let's <laughs> see so you get it um so we just checked art school off the list uh we did minute before this one minute is a very fun little compact zelda-ish adventure game that you play a minute at a time Yes, dissenting, if, if I learned anything from my college English classes, is that dissenting op opinions are wrong, must be shouted down, must be destroyed. I don't let it get you down just because you don't fit in the algorithm's mold. See, it's not, it's not, it's clearly not me. It's the algorithm that is wrong. I mean, you, we, we all, we were all, we were all there. We all saw what I produced. We all saw the artistic merit in it, something that the algorithm clearly wasn't programmed to understand. Uh, before Minute, we did Signs of the Sojourner, which is a really cool kind of deck-building narrative game where your deck it represents, um, I guess, pieces of a conversation and different emotional responses to them, and you have to fit them together to get agreement or, or cause disagreement. And either way, the story goes on, uh, considering your choices, so... Odd is raging after failing art school is making me feel uncomfortable. Getting, getting a bit of a deeper vision into the oddish past. You're getting a glimpse of the greater GPG cinematic universe here. <laughs> yes, not even uh, just emotional arguments, log logical arguments too. It's really cool. It's really, really cool. And F and R ones? What the fuck? <laughs> All right. Um... Peach, you lied to us. Peach, how could you do that? I thought we trusted each other here. All right. I am going, I'm going to put off Dominique Pamplemousse uh, until next week because, solely because I want time to do both games. I want to do both. It's all over once the fat lady sling, sings and combinatorial explosion. So let's uh, roll directly on to Village Monsters. And if we have a sliver of time, I might jump over to Dawn, Dawn Dusk Dream Sewer to, uh, to round out the night. Let's see what Village Monsters is called. I installed all these games. I don't remember what any of them are. Okay. R. Is everything so goddamn loud? What the fuck was that? Damn it. That was weird. Jelly the Cube, thank you for so much for the follow. All right, I'm just gonna turn this thing down because it doesn't look like it has built-in uh, options. Dong Dust Dream Surrey, yeah. I've been I've been waiting for a game like that that really speaks to me on a primal level. <laughs> what? <laughs> so this is a goon game and a Kickstarter game. Want to make a wholesome Monster Town game for his kid or something? I don't know. Doesn't seem entirely like that though. There once existed a kingdom of humans and an empire of monsters. The two nations warred frequently, though neither side could overpower the other. Uh... Okay, let's do gamepad. I'm really coming around to gamepads lately. The world was devastated by decades of war. A movement for peace, led by the monster Nomen, began to take shape. Why don't I move this, actually? So you can see a greater percentage of the screen. End credits. I remember Noman. He was friends with my dad. Total dork. He collected ants. Is that even considered a real hobby? Do not interrupt. Ugh, I should never should have invited you to this. <clears throat> the human king rejected peace. Using foul magic, he entered the heavens and beseeched the gods directly for power to end the war. The broken ancient covenant of neutrality, the gods agreed to aid the king. From the heavens, they cried out a name, the name of their champion. What are you called? I'm Oddish. Oh, yeah, I look like a hero. What? It actually moved. Did it say his name was Oddish? Yes. I told you, go get the mayor. I only have a few lines left. Blessed with immense power and immortality, the human champion came to be called Revenant. With each subsequent victory, it seemed certain humans would triumph over monsters. 
But it was only then that Sixus, the trickster god, took pity on pity, <laughs> took pity on monster kind. With great effort, he ensnared Revenant within the confines of the Imperial Forest. The king's gambit had failed. Without their champion, the king was soon defeated and fell to ruin. The age of humanity had come to an end. I think you slept long enough. It's time to wake up. Wake me up! Ooh. Click, 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 click. You don't remember packing all your belongings in the suitcase, but they're all here. You have plenty of clean clothes and toiletries. What's good, Weatherheads? You good pal, Gully Rains? I'm an itching and scratching to spit weather knowledge at you. Fog's gonna be thick as pea soup in the morning, but good old Mother Sun will warn us by afternoon. Gonna drink that extra cup of coffee, though. We're back to drizzling rain after sunset. Ugh. That takes a bit out of me. Oh, Bones, you're already awake. Been working on this speech all night and it's still dreadful. Huh, well, let's give it a go. <clears throat> Dear human male or female, I am Mayor Ludo. Welcome to our village. We are peaceful folk, and we'd really appreciate it if you didn't try to kill us. The mayor frowns his nose before tossing them aside. I told you it was dreadful. It's just, you were quite the surprise. It's been some time since we've uh, entertained a human. Not to say we don't like humans, though. Oh, this one's still in early access? Oh, cool. I feel like I've, I feel like I've really turned around in early access games. Like, early access to me used to be like, I'll, just, I'll wait, I'll just, mm. But I've had so many, there have been so many good experiences in early access, and I feel like, I feel like as, like as a way to release a game, it hasn't been abused as much in recent time, or if it has, the games that are really just kicked out into early access with like no fanfare and no hope kind of get suppressed more. So when I see a game like this in early access, I'm like, oh cool, they're still working on it. Like it's, you know, this is this is an active living game. Yeah, this is Village Monsters. Oh, Ludo, could you sound any more awkward? Here it is playing. We're not sure why or even how you're here. You can stay for as long as you'd like. Not turned a single person away, and we're not about to start. Not with the world the way it is. So, on behalf of all the free monsters, welcome to our village. Actually, there's one more thing. I'll let you get settled today, but tomorrow, the 8th, I'm going to announce your arrival at our weekly town meeting. Meeting begins in the evening. Don't worry, you won't need to make a speech. I'll see you there tomorrow. Okay. Out of order. Basic keyboard controls and tips. Press Z, continue, move. X is sprint, control is walk. Inspect, inspect, accept, interact, cancel. Back, use tool, cycle tools. Jurta journal. Auto saves at the end of each day. More tips you can consult the wall of text in the northernmost part of town. Well, hello there, if it is my favorite and thus far only constituent from the human block. <laughs> You're adjusting all right. I hope it's not too cramped in that room of yours. Any luck will have you moved into a new home in new time. Be sure to introduce yourself to everyone. We got some real characters around these parts. They're harmless enough. <laughs> Mayor eyes you worriedly. Just uh, <clears throat> don't go pushing your luck too much, huh? Uh, but that won't be a problem, I'm sure. Can I have the aquarium? You behold a painting by an unknown artist of a long forgotten tribe. There's an inscription on the frame. The Painted Cavern. <gasps> One floor fan. I'm gonna stand in front of the floor fan. Uh, hi. Let me in. This leads to Trundle's room is currently locked. Buzz off, mate. A new note has been appended to the end. That goes double for you, Oddish. Well, fuck you too, Trundle. More like... Trouble is what you are. I get. <laughs> yeah, being relax is the thing I have to learn. Anytime somebody says yeah, yeah, I get nose bleeds and start cough coughing up. <laughs> <laughs> I think I revealed it with the last human because it sounded like bad times we were in for the humans after they lost the war. Possibly. 
Oh, this is called a greeting, right? And I'm doing it. How do you call it? Oh, enthusiastically. My name is Yet. I used to be a tree. Oh, well, I still am a tree, but I can talk now. What type of monster are you? Some kind of pig demon? Very scary. Oh, welcome to the village. Please visit me again. I get real lonely being stuck here. You're dumb. All right, Opsil, thanks for coming out tonight. Good to see you. Uh, don't forget, tomorrow, uh, Shining Force 2, we're nearing the end of it. Uh, we've got only two or three more streams left. So if you want some input on the final battles uh, to be roundly ignored, uh, make sure to show up for that. Monday, and probably Tuesday, we'll be finishing the Outer Wilds. Um, so if you want to see me scream like a small child again, those are the days for that. Wednesday, we're finally, finally, finally starting Caves of Cud. I know a bunch of people have been looking forward to that. Uh, Thursday, more Dragon Quest Builders 2, and a week from today, more of this. More lovely, lovely, lovely itch games. Omatoa is not often my tavern has the chance to accommodate new visitors. Welcome to Overflow, small one. And welcome also to our village. Cut, 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 cut. You met only briefly when you came in last night, but I never gave my name. You may call me Kamakoa, Kamatoa. If you ever need anything, please do not hesitate to ask. Oh, 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 oh. Is that chocolate fountain? Uh, hi. What are you wearing? Oh, he seems blue. Well, now this is quite the treat. Come here, you. The large woman grabs you into a bear hug before letting go with a laugh. I didn't crush you now, did I? You're all sticks and bones. Oh, sorry, where are my manners? I'm Freya. I'm the cook here in the tavern. I also help that old polar bear with the old other odd jobs here and there. We're both from Pepper Peak. You ever been? Beautiful place. Well, it's not a molten hellscape. <laughs> we'll see soon enough. Well, welcome again. Feel free to raid our larders anytime. We attempt to raid the fridge, but unfortunately you don't have enough party members. What? You search the fridge and find a bowl of melted ice cream. There's a note that warns you not to touch it. That's cute. I like that. Uh, Overflow's basement. I see treasure. Let me open it. You cannot put treasure chests in game like this and not let me open them. God, what is wrong with you? Uh, okay, this is apparently the inventory or something? Donate. I can donate wine. I have no idea why I would ever do that, but I could. Can never get enough people together for the raid. Oh, there's Trundle. Oi there, what's all this then, huh? You here to kill me, Gov? Have at it then. Many have tried and failed, awful Trundle. Maybe you're the lucky one, mate. Rat eyes you suspiciously. After some time, he shakes his head and goes back to his drink. Maybe like the Stardew Bundles? You can also donate wine in the toilet. You have to consume it first. No? Well, saw it off then. Huh? Get out of here. There's a rat in his chair alone. It ain't the dog in the manger. Oh, oh, there's person, guy. Overflow, I like life at the overflow. Stop right there, Kerr. I, the famous Sir Alistair of Holiday Harbor, monster slayer and legendary paladin, shall slay thee where you stand. Phantom lifts his sword high above his head before registering that you are in fact not a monster. He blinks strangely. What malign trickery is this? You think to confuse me, Kerr? Everyone knows that I'm the last human. There cannot possibly be another. Your malevolent illusions will not. Not. Wait, yes, I understand now. Perhaps your ancestors mated with wild boars. Uh, but I can still see the fire of humanity in your eyes. Your strange noise. Laughter, maybe? Just before Alistair sheathed his sword. It is, in fact, quite a relief knowing I'm not the last of my kind. Let us talk more later, shall we? Uh, never coming back here. Hey, new guy, I'll be routing your mail here until you find a more permanent home. Residents love sending and receiving letters, especially the mayor. In fact, I bet he already sent you something. He's a major dork. I'm allowed to call him that, because he's my dad. Glimmer. Welcome on behalf of all free monsters. I welcome you to our village. Take as long as you need to settle and explore your surroundings. Once you're ready, why not go introduce yourself to everyone? They're a lively bunch, except for the skeleton zombies. <laughs> Just a bit of monster humor. You'll learn to love it. Uh, welcome, my name is Josh. I'm the developer of Vi Village Monsters. I'm incredibly thankful for your support. Village and Monsters is still in active development and I anticipate version 1.0 to be finished by fall 2020. That's not long. Please vi visit villagemonsters.com for new dev diaries, links to Discord and Twitter, release schedules, and more. Thanks again for playing my game. No problem, Josh. 
some humanity did get genocided. This is the Odd Jobs Board. You can pick up some part-time work here by accepting villager requests. So get paid for your work and your friendship will also increase. Uh, not now. Maybe next time. It's a Skelly Man's. It's Stapes. Skellin is reviewing a small notebook as you approach. One moment, citizen, I must complete my report. Looks up and his bone white face manages to look, lose even more color. Oh no, you're human? Oh, that's right. Sally told me to expect you. You're the new citizen. Sorry about that, my name is Stapes. I guard this, the village I mean. That's not your papyrus voice. Papyrus gets my papyrus voice. Nobody else raids. Sorry about before. Wait, did I say that already? Oh, oh, sorry. What squirrel? Can I root through the garbage? I can! You rummage through the trash like some kind of trash panda. There's nothing of interest. I was moving into it by the end of the last line. I just can't help myself. Come in, come in. Today's special existential dread. Sorry, I'm not good at these. Goal break. Okay. Hi, buddy. Capitalism ergo service. Pishki, welcome, welcome. Have you some odds or ends you'd like to sell the Pishki? Yes. I mean, no. Upgrade home, upgrade home. Buy harp shaped box, buy action move pack, buy pitcher plant starter, buy dower cream, ATM. Oh no, look what your av avarice is wrought. This chest is no chest at all, but a monster. Uh, hi, you're kind of in my bubble. Mind back up a bit? That's better. I'm Gold Brick. Nice to meet you, or whatever it is you people say these days. Nothing wipes out capitalism. If we if we annihilate ourselves through nuclear war, the cockroaches are gonna like move in and start operating our WalMarts for us. You can buy a Nirvana single. So I uh, I don't really like talking to you know people. So goodbye. <laughs> I like him. This asshole killed me in Dark Souls. <laughs> oh shit! Look at these guys. Bugs. Oh, hey, mister. Mom says I can't talk to strangers, but he also says be polite. So how about it? I'll tell you my name, then we won't be strangers no more. My name is Bugs. I live here with my sister and mom. Will you hunt critters with me sometime? I'm really good at it. Well, see you later. Oh, you're the new guy? I wasn't expecting you to be so old. Does your face always look like that? Everybody calls me Ziggy. This place is so boring, but I'm kind of the master of making things fun. Remind me to teach you how to play Demon Tag. Naps to Bluke. Pots and pies. We tracked water in! That's such a neat little detail. What? Speak up, youngin. Oh, you're that outsider. A human, huh? Thought we pulverized your kind ages ago. <laughs> I kid, I kid. The name's Morris. Sometimes I'm a priest, other times I'm a gardener. You meet my wife yet? Sweet old lady. Don't know how she still tolerates me after all these years. Well, about time we get back to my garden. Those mushrooms won't grow themselves. Well, actually they will. But don't tell anyone or I'll be out of a job. Take it easy, kiddo. Baba. Before you stand, a short elderly witch. Despite her attire, she has an incredibly kind face and her smile is full of warmth as you approach. Hello, dear. I am Baba. I run the bakery in town, such that it is. Though these days you're more apt to find me brewing potions than baking pies. These are trying times. Ah, but look at me ramble already. I'm sure you're far too busy to be bored by an old woman. We are so happy to have you here, dear. I hope you can visit often. Capitalism is the real village monster. Um, oh, hello. Hi. Oh, you're Glimmer. Hmm, you look new. You fill out your forms yet? Ugh, for, wow, first day here, and you don't even bother to fill out the new resident forms. Sudden wicked smile across her lips. <laughs> yeah, I didn't either. I don't even know why Jacqueline makes us fill them out. It's rubbish. Name's Glimmer. I work at the sorry excuse for post office we have in town. Well, my break is just about over. Have fun, kiddo. Fill out those forms, or don't, whatever. You. Dio. World. Hey, buddy, let's do this, huh? Let's make some mistakes, man. Let's not go gently into that good night. Sater squints as if seeing you for the first time. Uh, hold on now. Who are you anyway? Wait, you a guard? You have to tell me if you are. That Sailor guy? Thought he was cool like me, like you. But turns out that not only is he a guard, he's way stronger than he looks. Well, if you're cool, then you're cool. The name's Dio. Let's grab drinks sometime, assuming you're the one paying, man. You have to tell me if you're a cop. I've already been to the overflow. Oh, God, there's a bunch more people in there. Uh, social anxiety. 
Abandoned lot. Can I have it? The door to the shed is locked. That's probably a good thing. It looks rather dilapidated. Whatever service the building once provided has long since passed. I'm guessing maybe this will be our place eventually. Did you just upgrade? Oh no, this is Sally. Citizen, do you have a report? If you have something to report, then you must tell me. Who am I? Who am I? You ingrate, you fool. I am Sally, the guard king. I am the peacekeeper and leader of village security. You want it and out without my permission? Then you'll need to kill me first. Just as a fair warning, don't ask who I am again. You won't like what you get. That being said, strike one and welcome to the village. Silly does look like Undyne, that's true. Carefree Crossroads, pretty quiet for a weekday. Oh, it's dark. Agrarian Acres, that's a farm. I did not get very far on my first day. <laughs> Pioneer Square, it's usually this quiet, yeah. This is the library. Hello, welcome to, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, you're, you're he, human. <laughs> I'm not doing all of that, I'll kill my voice. You did really well, you're only threatened by one person. I'm, oh, sorry about that. I've stabbed your kind all my life, but I never thought I'd actually get to meet one of you. This is a dream come true. My name is Apricot. Wait, 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 no, that's not it. My name is Rut, uh, uh, why can't I remember my name? Calm down, Ruby, you can do this. All right, my name is Ruby. <laughs> uh, nice to meet you. I promise I'm not as weird as I seem. Okay, you're a gem, Ruby. Welcome to our community library. This is the identification desk. Do you need something identified? Nope. <laughs> I deserve that. Understood. Enjoy the remainder of your day. Store's locked. The notice board. Today's summary. Tomorrow, restless critters will run into wild critters much more frequently. Oh, I just passed out. You're either with us or against. Okay. We'll do we'll do one more day of this, but this definitely feels like the kind of game. I mean, this this is basically Stardew. This is basically another take on Stardew, and we're not. I don't think we're gonna get much out of it unless we like devote nights of the week to it. So no centaurs so far. Poor Oddish, yeah. Ah, oh, small one. Have you managed to explore much beyond our village yet? There's a shrine just south of the gate that you may find interesting. More than once, I've heard rumors of it pulsating, as if alive. Quite peculiar and worthy mystery for our new human to solve. <clears throat> Maybe we'll find some of the community center. Okay. That's great. Bonfire Beach. Whoopie pies! Sorry we're closed for the season. See you next summer. Oh, uh, well. Dio Drifling, Drifting Dankly. Don't need no alarm clock. You just let Mother Sun take up the range. So make sure you get up on time, man. Word. You look like a pirate. Apona. Where he stands, a smirking pirate, teal fish-like skin. She clicks her tongue dismissively. You've got to be kidding me. This is a human. This is the thing we were all scared of. Oh. Wow. The name's Apona. They may call me Lady Luck. You're also far out of my league. So next time you want to talk to me, make it worth my while. My while. I got a starfish. The giraffe can take you to Three Wall Island. Uh, not today. K. Okay. This is definitely cute so far. I feel like the days go by really fast, though. Like, I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's pegged to, like, uh... Stardew time... Because I remember days feeling really short in that game, too. But it feels like it's going really fast. I 
proprietary forest. Don't get lost. No promises. Promise you nothing. Okay, so I can catch bugs. That's basically the only thing I can do at the moment. Catch bugs and pick things up off the ground. Oh, whoops, I must have pressed the wrong button. You didn't understand a word of that, huh? Sorry, it's been a while since... Okay, hold on. Let me try this again. Behold, O oh human, witness the true nature of our world. See how it shifts, twisted and corrupt. Despair, O oh human. Do you wish to mend our world? Unlikely, implausible, unthinkable is not in your nature. You cannot heal, only destroy. Depart, O oh human. Find a world that is not yet destroyed, a blank canvas with which to paint your sword. That was much better. You know, it's true what they say. Mystifying humans is just like riding a bike. You never forget. What's going on? It's rather simple, really. See this bridge? It's out of order. Close for business. It seems like nobody can fix it, so there's no point in stressing about it. No, no, that's been taken care of. I should really get going. Do not fret, my friend. I'm sure we'll meet again very soon. Farewell for now, oh human. It's hard to make sense of what just happened, but you suspect that's very much intentional. The voice seems to have left, but it said you'd meet again. Perhaps you should return in a couple of days to see if it comes back. Hmm. An interesting twist on the formula. Is the guy, it's, it's one of the headless bombers from Sirius Sam. Didn't they say there was a shrine down here? Did they, oh, they meant this. The shrine is quiet, but almost feels like it's waiting for something. You search through your pockets, but it seems whatever it wants, you don't have. As you turn away, you hear something like a whisper. Friendship, progress, immunity, stewardship. Voices fade away. Okay. You want me to do things. Extract spores. The device should allow you to extract seeds from wild plants you forage, but look like it's out of order. Can I have the evil pitchfork? It's just, it's a bale of hay. Jump over it, dingus. No garden. All residents are encouraged to pick an empty spot and plant whatever they wish. It's a big fucking pig. Uh. Okay, I just stepped on all the poop. It's Garbor, the trash hog. His appetite is absolutely insatiable, so it's a good thing he's sleeping. I mean, you do realize you're standing in front of him like a doofus, right? We need. Uh, I guess you can dump items here. This is the land swill. Discard all trash on water items here, and Zabal will gobble them up before the next day. Wish you could ride that hog. Well, those are cows. This is off limits. I wish it was like near. You could ride it. Uh, what's what's up? Hey. Oh, yo, hey. Nice catch, lion hearts. Lion hearts are said to only materialize after great acts of bait rev bravery. Okay. Bird, cow. Tracking dirt all over the place. The door is locked. Valentine is a pretty private guy. Okay. Board drifting was fun. Okay, it doesn't go anywhere. This seems neat so far, but I'm... Game, games like this that are kind of lacking in direction, like I feel like you need something... I feel like you need something to kind of direct players into what they should be doing. Like Stardew is really good about that. Stardew is really good about cluing you into what you should be doing right now. This one, I'm not really sure how to get started, is the thing. 
Spring is the time for mud, and that makes for excellent cardio. You ever run in the mud, human? It's difficult, to say the least. There's a scarecrow, not gonna try to talk to it? No. Had, I've had bad experiences. Are you lawn gnomes or, okay. Statues. Mock and birdie. Goblin's wearing the ugliest shirt you have ever seen. You probably shouldn't mention that to her though. Well, well, a human. The mayor allowed this, did he? He's always had a strange sense of humor. The name's Mock. I'm a goblin, obviously. Don't you worry though. Like all the others, I'm harmless. He fanged. She grins, revealing rows of teeth filled to, filed to needle points. Not literally. It'd be weird to go upstairs unless you're better friends with Mock and Birdie. All the gnomes have sadly become trees. It's a shark! Edmund. You must be the new resident the mayor told me about. My name is Edmund Rose. I am not ashamed to admit that my family is the most influential in the village. Perhaps you've met my wife, Callista, or my daughters, Scythilla and Epona? No matter. Do right by my family and you'll never want for anything here in the village. It's not often one of nobility reaches out to his dorsal fin to a commoner, so do not squander this opportunity. Eat my ass, Edmund. I mean, not literally. I know that's kind of... You know what, never mind. A literal loan shirt. My, my, the kids told me they saw a human, but they're often prone to exaggeration. Not this time, it appears. I'm Vara, I'm a succubus. Retired, of course. These days I'm more interested in raising my two kids. Do right by them and you'll do right by me. Have you ever hurt them? As Vera smiles, you feel gripped by an unknown horror. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. You remember that there's a town meeting this evening. You don't want to be the only one not there. All right. There's only a handful of people here. Where's everyone? Ugh. Kyra, like, flapping his You guys are the worst. Jesus. Devotion to a bit is one thing, but goddamn. Welcome, welcome. Tonight's meeting is two items on the agenda. As you have no doubt noticed, we have a new visitor. And yes, they're human. Please join me in welcoming Otis to our village. It's a truly momentous occasion that we will always remember. Our little village may never be the same again. Brings me to my uh, second item. I have uh, received word from the Arbiter's office. It seems he uh, has reached a decision. Of course, nothing is final and there's no need to panic, but is believed that he will rule in favor of the Null Foundation. As a result, the, that is to say, the, they will become the new owners of the village. Still own the land, you mean? Hm. They'll want to demolish the village and construct something more profitable in its place. What? Why didn't you lead with that, sir? They finally win in the end. Does this mean we need to move? Settle down, settle down. Our fight is not over yet. For I sent a strongly worded letter appealing this decision. I even made plans to sell my collection of rare hats to raise legal funds. And I mean... And Ludo seems to be gesturing wildly in her direction. It's not often we have humans just falling out of the sky. Could this be a natural phenomenon? Who can say? Must be studied, analyzed. Surely the Null Foundation cannot be allowed to demolish anything until we get bottom of this. Forget it. Oh well. If you hurry back, we can catch the second half of Mel. Mel. Melamdus? My dear friends, please just wait a minute. We shall march to the capital tomorrow and beg the Arbiter to read our appeal. That won't be necessary. Your Honor, what are you doing here? Word of your new guest reached in Ithikana. Even like the short as mine can cover much ground and properly motivated. The so-called arbiter is appraising you. After all these years, hmm, your timing is nothing short of remarkable. Luda, I've already read your appeal. I cannot grant it. D just hold on. You haven't heard all of my arguments. I have a 64 point, point plan. I think you'll find very... Please do not interrupt. Well, I cannot grant your appeal. I will also not deny it. Instead, I am deferring my judgment. The village shall not be sold until I reach my ruling, but do not rejoice yet. For too long I've watched as this community has become overtaken by ap apathy and indolence. The gift of life came at a heavy price, and yet I see us now wasting it. Not even the threat of demolition has turned you from your there. You do not value yourselves. Do you not value your family, your friends, or your community. My words may be harsh. I have not given up yet. It is not too late to change. It is my sincerest hope that recent... Events will be the kick in the pants we all so dearly need. 
How long will you defer judgment, Your Honor? As I shall explain to the good folks of the Knoll Foundation, my docket is rather full. I believe my next open appointment isn't until spring 8th, 255. That is two years from now. My ultimate decision will depend on my evaluation of the village at that time. I hope I am understood. I must be getting back to the capital. I apologize for my sudden appearance and equally sudden exit. But I'm sure we will speak again soon. Alright, so now we have the hook for the game. Humans are thought to be extinct. You appear out of nowhere just when this, uh, just when this town is on the skids. So you've got to help the monsters get it back into shape. Mayor gestures for you to remain. Well, that certainly wasn't how I pictured this meeting going. Otters, I hope we haven't scared you off. Things are not usually this dramatic. Yeah, Hieronymus, this is still in early access. They're still working on it. Uh, it's, supposed, it's supposed to be done this fall, which is pretty soon. There's a town hall meeting tomorrow night to talk about our next steps. I'd very much like you to attend. I know it's a lot to ask, but I believe you're an important part of this. I will hopefully see you then. Okay, so apparently the game doesn't actually get started for the first couple of days. So apparently they give you a couple days to wander around and do stuff while the plot unfurls. And then... Ah, uh, this, this must be the wall of text. <laughs> this could be a perfect day. So I, I have to assume after tomorrow's meeting I'll have a more concrete idea of what I should be doing. Ah, Town Hall. Who the hell are you? Allow me to welcome you to our community. I am called Jacqueline. Or it is my name. I must ask that it's your earliest opportunity. Please become a productive member of society. You may also consider forging your destiny or pursuing childhood dreams, but only at the lowest possible priority. I believe this is all the information you need at this time, so it's quite unnecessary to continue standing there. Good for you. Spine note written Glimmer's infamous scrawl. The mail waits for no one. Leave your letters here, and I'll get to it when I get to it. Not today, Glimmer. Not today. Dirt church is locked, though someone has carved a message in the wood. No gods in Glitchwood. Damn. It's great to see another from the rest. I don't the door is just asking me knock. Knock, knock. Nothing happens. Maybe I have to do it at night. Homo sapien. I believe that means wise man. Are you wise? Apparently not, as you found yourself in a village that doesn't belong to you. I'm Victor. You should go talk to someone else. Unlike my mother, I don't find you all that interesting. Wow. You suck. <laughs> all of my puns are unfinished. What? Do run, run, run. Do run, run. Okay, so we were over here last time. Looks like maybe I can go this way. Oh, sweet, into a scary ass cave. Dwarven fortress, beware of carp. Marvelous, an actual human. I'd assume news of your arrival is greatly exaggerated and I'm quite pleased to have been proven incorrect. Tarn, yes, I'm a writer. No, I will not read you your manuscript. I will not read your manuscript. No, I'm not a dwarf. I'm a dwergar. Sign in front of the first church just changed. I missed that. I hope you're adjusting to life among monsters. It cannot be easy, but I'm sure you'll settle in eventually. I suppose. Hmm. It's been a long day, and I've drunk a lot. For dinner, I had wine with a side of pizza. Dergar or Dark Dwarves, like, that's a thing. Don't give up just yet. I like that. Barkley Gaiden probably lifted that from another game. They lifted a lot of stuff from other games. Dergar, you D and D less hack. Seems like there's not a whole lot to do until plot kicks in. Life's too short to not live like you just die at any moment, man. Leave it all out there. Don't give up just yet. Also showed the top left when we were talking to the glitch bridge. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright, I tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and go to bed early if possible. Yeah, I it's okay. Sleep now, I'll be fully rested by tomorrow. Ready to hit the hay? Yep. 
Tomorrow, jumping fish. Fish will bite much more quickly than usual. All right, well, this seems to be a full-on indie stardew, which seems pretty cool with uh, some interesting themes. Living in a monster village that's not comfortable with you. Some kind of glitch weirdness going on around the periphery. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Uh, obviously, we're not going to have time to go through the whole thing, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a very promising start, really. I know. I know Stardew's pretty effing indie. It's just, like, indier than Stardew. I think we can agree on that. The fuck is this thing called? Village Monsters. Village Monsters. How do you do an indie Stardew? Even pixelier graphics? Even, even less press coverage? It's the most indie you could get. Uh, this is all in the itch bundle, yes. So, for the foreseeable future, what we're going to be doing on Fridays is the first... The first hour of the night, we'll play some game that I've been meaning to cover because there's plenty of Friday requests and uh, new releases that I want to get to. And then the rest of the evening, we're, we're going to spend on the big itch charity bundle that I'm sure everybody got that has like 1,800 games. Um, Y'all good people have requested looks at 73. Well, actually, no, 73 because one of them is doubled up. 73 different games from this bundle and we're going to be spending multiple fridays working our way through this list we've done we've done five four so far tonight because this one's going to be on mondays um and we're going to take a look at dawn dust dream sewer because i've heard that's extremely short and that'll be it for tonight brendos dawn dusk dream sewer i don't know what the hell this is i also don't know if i can make it any bigger Okay, this is a game. This is a game that can be played by humans. Um, let me make this bigger, I guess. Hang on. There. Lost, are you? I once thought myself lost too. I've come to embrace this persistent hopeless, the fading glimmers of recollection that hover at the edge of my sanity, ever eluding my mortal grasp. Cool, cool story. I have no idea what any of the controls are in this game. There's a ladder here. I feel like I should use it. Literally just keep talking. An ill fate pass encounter from another reality in which both our forms are present is this but a trickle, a passing glimpse of momentary subconscious retention. I cannot recall. Welcome to the sewage plant, the tragic remnants of a dream. A spiritless processing complex flooded with ill-fated beings such as yourself. Here we linger, tethered to this decaying facility, adrift in, an, in the endless void between reason. Okay. Knowledge, education, the fundamental skills, the grand mystery is the secret of joy is all linger in the tattered pages of these moth-bitten, human-leather-bound books. I've poured countless hours in my studies. I'm wise beyond belief. Worship me as you do your deities. I and I alone know how this place functions. I've unraveled these, the mysteries of these foul sewage pipes. I've found bliss and understanding beyond reason. I shall teach none. These secrets are mine. This knowledge shall wither and die with me. I shall be the last of the educated few. The great reader of the sewage plant, the high priest of books, unchallenged, lest another read these tomes. Honestly, though, who would here have, would have time for that? Our patience is dwindled, our attention but a husk. Gradual the decay of knowledge, of wisdom's great powers, slowly sap through countless hours of screen staring boredom. These cellular devices, the harbinger of our gradual demise, the silence succumbing to mass stupidity.
<laughs> Voxels and Existential Dread. My two favorite things. Twist, contort, spiral, weave your way through the metallic piping that endlessly coils these accursed planes. Warp, bend, snap, and tear. How pitiful, how hopeless, how tragic, woeful is this form that which struggles to squeeze into the brittle ducts that line these damp fungus scattered walls. Its hands bleed as I push them into the piping, bones splintering and veins gushing dark fluid onto the uncaring flooring of this complex. Heart squeeze, burst, and rend. I will smash my head against these iron siphons, blistering my brain matter, corroding my broken memories evermore as I attempt to become one with these pipes. I stand here a fractured mortal seeking an unobtainable joy, the bliss of melding this flesh form with the sewer works. This is a game, yes. I don't, like, I, I am not one of these people that's gonna come out and declare something not a game just because I don't, I don't consider the, the gameplay very substantial. Um, it, it feels like, this feels like interactive poetry. It feels like traveling through a space and, and experiencing different verses of a poem. So, but it is still a game because of that interactive element. No matter how much sludge I consume, nothing can fill the void that lingers in my putrid heart. I am but sw a swine being nightmares, the vast sewers, flesh-bound mortal of this realm. Here I dwell, observer of the sludge core, whittling away my days with the pitiful consumption of pipeline ooze secretions and waking nightmares of the vast sewers. How, long, how I long for meaning in these lonesome walls, the drab sewage complex in which my form sluggishly exists. His heart yearns for adventure, for passion and love, for the warm embrace of acceptance, the kind touch of joy, and the fleeting sensation of happiness. Yet all I can muster these words, all I can put my limbs to is the consumption of bland sewage matter. How cruel this bewildering stationary life. Tread carefully, for these are poison glades. Witness the toxic beauty of the blood flower, the cruel glare of the gloriosa lily, the bitter lick of the scotch broom. There is such grace in the simplicity of death. These plants, blooms, and fungi are but the harbingers of non-existence's sweet embrace. To live close to such marvelous creations is to know bliss, ever present, the option for escape. My tongue is riddled with poison sores, for I, much to my sorrow, have been cursed with forms still clings to this life. I could toil over these venomous cocktails of my own creation for a millennia or more, and still these septic spores would not take me. Curses! How cruel is this life! Lethal is but a joke to my mortal husk. I am impervious. I am unbreakable. I am the wretched garden dweller hidden between the intricate piping of this savage sewage plantation. I seek release, yet all I find is perpetual pain. Did Clive Barker write this? Now, of games like this, I, like, they're definitely games, but I find that they don't take very good advantage of the medium. Like, the interactive element is about as meaningful here as turning a page. So there's no, there appears to be no player choice or agency to exert. It's just walking around to experience these. So, which is interesting, certainly. Especially since this one has nothing to say now. <clears throat> but yeah, just not the best use of the medium. Listen closely because I'm only going to whisper this. Uh, don't tell my cousin over there, but I don't actually believe in any of this nonsense. Truth be told, I'm more of an ag agnostic. Ugh. I've really been one for sludge deities and whatnot. I mean, the robes here are silky, rather expensive, and feel as though you're tightly wrapped in a blanket, made entirely of angel feathers, scattered with delicate hugs, making each comfortable moment more joyous than the last. I mean, honestly, you could study textiles and fashion design for a millennium and still not produce something this comfortable. Why aren't these standard issued to everyone? I have no doubt in my mind whatsoever that these would be a global phenomenon if more people knew of these fabric-based splendors. It is no less than a tragedy that only my cousin and I get to experience these. You know, I've even thought of selling these myself, but between the chapel maintenance and screaming into the void, hoping for the ancestral sewage specters to arise from a grand slumber, there's little time for anything else. These robes, ugh, so snugly, so warm, and so gentle. Uh, oh, apologies, I may have gotten a little carried away there. I could talk to you all day about such matters and you still wouldn't understand. You're not even wearing clothes, are you? Why am I even wasting my breath on a sewer-born, rat-fleshed, rodent-eyed wastekin such as yourself? 
Eh. Just please promise me that you won't say anything to offend my cousin. He is, has a very sensitive heart, and I'd hate to see it broken. He used to cry for days at a time. On more than one occasion, the tear-riddled shenanigans lasted for over a week. Poor soul. <sighs> Listen, uh, da 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 Oh, 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 are you yet to embrace the grandeur of the ever-oozing sludge deity? Open yourself body and soul to the silent, irresistible calling infinite pipeline. Whistle as the sewage air through the endless iron labyrinth before you. Join us in prayer as we traverse the vast sewers of life, the sludge-riddled mess of existence in the pursuit of the void, brain's joyous, slime-strewn embrace. Life as we know it emerged screaming from the primordial lose, our entire being, the timeline of thought, reason, intentional movement, all the guttural rush of wastage, flushed and gushing, torrents of living, breathing, being through the winding pipeline of the sewers of non-existence. We faithful fewer the lifeblood of the system, the antifreeze chemical slew that keeps the perpetual sewage surging ever forth. Join us, become the bleach-infused, velvet-robe-clad guardian of the glorious putrid wastage works. What is your answer? Hell no. Sobbing silently, uh, no would have been sufficient. You're cruel beyond words, please just leave. A fourth mortal, closer, closer. About meds kicking in, fair enough. Yeah, there's a bunch of obvious typos in here. Um, it might be translated. These are mistakes that I would kind of expect from that. The pit has been waiting your arrival. The pit has been waiting your arrival, waiting for your arrival. Let your being seep into the sewer works. Lose yourself to the sludge. Fuse your crumbling soul with the decaying gunge ooze sleeping through this labyrinth of iron piping. Uh, ignore. Please don't leave this wretched place. The pit will wait your return. So wait, we have to, so wait, really? We have to go in the pit? We have to go in the pit, okay. Drown, drown, drowned in sewage. Gargling wastewater, his esophagus ruptured, lungs burst, muddied veins filled with fetid sludge. Greetings, mortal. Another broken soul, form shattered, eternally ensnared in the web of non existence. Feel the void calling, the eternal chasms between life and the darkness surging through the endless spaces, lingering on the edges that seems of sentience. Cursed one is to linger, to dwell in this dark void infinitely. Gradually losing oneself as time slowly, meaninglessly, and painfully seeps ever by. Souls amass in the darkness, screaming in silence as their very essence is pulled from them. Every relationship and moment lived, crumbling as the memory of their brain matter unwinds. One cannot stop this, none can escape, mortals can only linger eternal in their plight, their putrid cell-born suffering. No beings left on their cherished worlds, no minds spasming in recollection of the lost. Go now, suffer as they have. Watch in terror as your existence dwindles, your very being decays. Observe as the void consumes you. Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, I think. <clears throat> I think this would have. I think this would have been better as like an animation. I think this would have been better as like a YouTube short. Uh, I don't. I don't really think the player agency adds anything to it, especially since there is none. <laughs> oh, I, I was given two choices, and only one of them actually seemed. Oh, only one of them might have mattered. So, angry high school drama class writing. It was a little. It was a little in love with adjectives, but I. I like the writing. Honestly, it's extremely evocative writing. Like if it was meaning to convey an emotion, if it was if it was meaning to make the audience feel something, I think it definitely worked on that level. Um, it's just yeah, it's not it's not very it's not a very compelling experience on the game side because there's not much gameplay here. Um, what happens if you join the cult? There's absolutely no chance in hell that I'm going back through this dialogue just to find out. 
You are more than welcome to find out. There's one more choice if you do. Well then. I mean, like with most games, it's it's an experience I'm glad I have. It's it's one that I'm going to remember. Um, but yeah, not not very notable not very notable outside of that. So anyway, I think that is going to do it for our first itch night. Is back in correct proportions here. So we did good. We took a look at June's reader choice, uh, reader's choice selection, uh, Tales from Off Peak City. I'll be working on that this weekend, and I'll see about getting a review out of it next week. Um, we went through one, two, three, four. We went through five games off the list. That's good. Most of the uh, most requested ones. Um, next time. Next time, uh, we'll do we'll start with Dominique Pamplemousse. We'll do Pendulous Swing, Cinco Paws, Astrologaster, and then we'll see what kind of time we have. Yeah, Minute was good. I, I really like Minute, and I'm pretty sure it's pretty cheap on uh, Steam at the moment right now. So yes, we're definitely gonna raid somebody. Um, just a couple of reminders. One, we are doing from now on, we're gonna be doing reader's choice selections on Discord. If you're not in Discord, get in Discord. If you are in Discord, go to our uh, Reader's Choice channel that's been opened up and drop us a nomination that fits with the rules pinned to the top. You've got until Monday at noon to do that, and then we will spend a few days voting on them uh, to get our July game to review, which I'll also probably stream. So, um, I guess that's pretty much it. Yeah. Shining Force 2 tomorrow. Uh, finishing Outer Wilds next Monday and Tuesday. I think two more days will get us through that. Wednesday, we'll start Caves of Cud. Thursday, Dragon Quest Builders 2. Uh, and then a week from tonight, uh, another indie game of my own selection and more itch games. So, Nailed it. What's up, Bad Weed? What's up, Tino? Perfect timing. No, actually, it is perfect timing. Look. It's a spreadsheet. Oh. I saved the best for you, buddy. <laughs> this is our list of um, Itch.io bundle games that we're going through. We did a couple tonight. Signs of Sojourner, Minute Art School, Village Monsters, and Dawn Dusk Dream Sewer. Uh, and then we got like 60 some more <laughs> to go through over the, uh, over the coming weeks. So you too, Hieronymus. Hope everything went well for you as well. So, uh, let's see who's up at the moment. Who is of a streaming persuasion tonight? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. A lot of Valorant. Um, here's an interesting one. Our friend Adrian is starting Chrono Cross tonight. I know you guys have requested that I play Chrono Cross at some point. That's way off in our future, unless you guys go insane and start nominating it up like crazy. Um, why don't I send you over there? And you guys can Chrono Cross it up. Seems like Twitch finally sorted out the tiers uh, for Dragon Coins. Actually, I did that. <laughs> Actually, I went in and fixed it myself. So Because I was getting tired of everything being uh, mis uh, misarranged. So. Anyway, thank you all so much for coming out tonight. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. It's been a while since we've done a proper, like an indie-ass indie variety night like this, and we're going to be doing a lot of these going forward. As long as we have the, these itch games to go through, that's going to be our priority. So, um, yeah. Thanks for coming out. It's been an absolute pleasure. Good to see all of you, even Tino, who snuck in right at the wire there. So hopefully I'll see you tomorrow night or Shining Force 2. Till then, as always, y'all take care. Bye, everybody.